Bonsoir. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello, everyone. I'm going to turn the music down because I feel like the music is a lot louder than I am. It could be me just imagining things, but like, who knows? Is that fine? Is that hopefully that's better? Thank you, Frankie, for the sub. Jacob, you're a, sorry, Piper, you're a star. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. And I think there was a normal one as well. Thank you for that normal sub as well. Uh, I do want your followers. I appreciate you supporting me. You are a star. And thank you for also playing Rocky too. Also, thank you, Georgia, my love, for the sub as well. You are a bean. Uh, hello, Lucy. Uh, hello, Frankie. And hello, anyone else that's in chat that's uh, hanging out. Oh, hello, uh, the Swordsmith. Good evening. This is my first time. Welcome to uh, <clears throat> welcome to the Vibe Inn. Um, you're coming in on a pretty uh, tumultuous session. I said tumultuous. Is that the word? I think that's the word. Um, I'm going to recap it quickly so that you you see what's up. Hello, Danny Plays 100. Hi, welcome to the Vibe Inn. Uh, but yeah, I'm Kazzy uh, On Sundays, I stream uh, Throne Up Sands, my D&D &D, uh, game based in a Japanese and Indian-inspired setting. Um, <clears throat> the Piper Jar is filling up very fast. I actually need to get something because I think I think I. But I don't. I never carry cash around, so I can't fill it. Do I? What if I? I call my savings account <laughs> the Piper Jar, and then I transfer it like that. That's what I'll do. Um, yeah, Throne Top Sands is a d, &D campaign I run on here, obviously, based in a Japanese and Indian-inspired setting. That's a mix. I refer to it as Crystal Punk. It's a mix of, it's a very um, <clears throat> vibrant, light-hearted uh, fantasy setting that's got a, mi a heavy mix on magic, technology, and nature. That's the core ethos of Crystal Punk. And um, we have a wonderfully bright... A queer cast of players that are playing. They might not be super bright at the start of the session because of what's happened last session, but let's uh, let's get into that. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> oh, by the way, just to know, if you follow, you get 300 channel points, which you can use to interact with the session. Uh, and as you accumulate those channel points, you'll be able to help or hinder the party as we go. Um, so if you want to do, do that, you can um, you can and interact with the session with us. But yeah, landing on a pile of a treasure, the party recollects themselves on some loot. While collecting some gold, the party sees some strange Borg and Velia vines that are growing and radiating magic around the um, the ruins of Old Atani that they had um, <clears throat> um, just about just about to leave. And as they um, are on this pile of gold, what was this giant chamber that like kind of surrounded them and and kept them out of the outside world? opens up and crumbles around them so that they can finally escape. Thank you for following uh, the Swordsmith. <clears throat> and like as um, they're just studying these Borgenvini uh, vines that are growing around them. Um, Lavender, not Lavender, sorry, Garden. Uh, Lo-Fi Boy's um, hive mind, plant hive mind, um, takes an interest in the... Uh, yeah, the Borgenvies and the party are kind of also taking a bit of an interest. Well, thank you for the hype train, guys. And uh, but ha as it reacts badly and starts surging with wild magic after getting interacted by them, the party uh, step away and begin to uh, continue their journey after uh, after uh, defeating Old Atani, the uh, the god of the forest, and find themselves on another bridge. Uh, where they meet the Suika Abake again, the Watermelon Yokai, uh, the Watermelon Samurai Yokai, that uh, once again challenges Rocky, uh, but <clears throat> with a bit more urgency and disdain, as uh, he believes, or they believe, Rocky dishonored them by not beating them honorably uh, to cross the bridge. And this time, uh, Randall and, Lof uh, and Garden take part in the fight. And there is a three-on-three -three duel between three watermelon yokai and the pie. And as um, I believe Randall dropped, uh, Lo-Fi Boy was very low and uh, Rocky was holding his ground. They do succeed and uh, made their way across the uh, the bridge. And there was a bit of bonding as well. Lo Nico uh, got on with the Suika Abake and made friends with them as well. Absolutely brilliant to be here. Thank you for being uh, I'm, I'm glad that you're here and I appreciate that. Yeah, after uh, the duel, the group notice the plants acting strange around Garden and vice versa. And Lo would have to constantly pull uh, the uh, Warforged away from the plants as it was reacting strangely and pulling in the critters in the forest into the thorns and the bushes. <clears throat> 
and but eventually the pull was too strong and in a desperate show of force between the group where Lone Nico, Rocky and Randall all tried to pull back uh, the Warforged as he was driven to this one giant core, uh, crystal core of Shiseki stones and Bougainvillea surging in this crater with Rocky being the last person holding onto them, cracking the chassis of the, uh, the, the Warforged as all his parts explode outwards suspended in animation um they watch this this silhouette of a plant make its way or vines and roots make and pieces of lo-fi boy's core make its way to the heart of the shiseki stone crystal crater and join it <clears throat> but yeah that's uh that's the intro to Throne of Hands. If that sounds enticing and you're intrigued and want to find out and uh, uh, keep following, that's greatly appreciated. Remember, you can help and hinder through channel points. You can follow uh, and keep and catch up on the campaign uh, on YouTube there in the VODs there. And we also have a West Marches game that we run on the Discord that you can check out there if you want to. But yeah, I am going to move us into the intro scene and then we're going to get started on the session. See you guys in a bit. Bonsoir. Hello, everyone. Say hello. <laughs> hello. 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 Hey, hello. Guys. hello. Hello. Mm, new, uh, hello. New, my new baby. Alex. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Sorry, I don't want to get it. No, that's no, it's okay. Hello, my rag rag gal. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're all under much. arrest now. Oh, uh, well, ain't not, that just the way. It, you don't think it be the way that it is, but it, it do. do. Also, thank you, Nathan, for the lurk. Um, seeing as we've got some new people here, uh, I thought it'd be nice to introduce our characters, or your characters, if you guys would like to. And okay. yourselves. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. we'll go from the top, Georgia. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, I'm Georgia. I play no Loniko. She is a human bard of creation, uh, multi-class with a fire shaman. Uh, which is a homebrew race. Um, she uh, is going through a lot, but it's fine. <laughs> we all are. Um, <laughs> uh, she wears a kitsune mask uh, and has some spider lilies. And yeah, she's she's here to 
party. Become a better shaman and Sorry. sort of keep the balance between spirits and yokai and the rest of the world, basically. <laughs> Oh, got the character out there that was also there. Oh, well. sorry, I was trying to find where to put it. Uh, next is Rocky. Howdy, uh, I'm Rocky. I am uh, um, a a samurai fighter with a little sprinkle of warlock. Um, I am a cowboy by trade, but I lost my hat. Um, <clears throat> I am trying to avenge my parents who were uh, sadly kicked out of this country a long, long ago because of uh, uh, because of me, actually, technically, because I am an Earth Genasi, and they don't like that here unless you're, like, working for the state, pretty much. Um, I like to fight, and I'm vegetarian. Next, that's Randall. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's perfect. Uh, I'm Randall, a uh, dragonborn, uh, gemstone dragonborn with cracked crisp black crystals all around me. Uh, my, my goal is to get some semblance of a family and crew back together, like, after losing so much in the past. Uh, Rocky and I met in prison during an intense jailbreak mm. where we lost another family again. But hopefully we can get something like that back. <clears throat> Polly? I'm Lucy. I play Polly. And uh, I am a... B b brain? Hello, Bucorn. <laughs> um, artificer. And uh, I'm a guest here on the podca podcast. Actual play podcasting. Uh, same thing. <laughs> Dream. And... Um, Polly bumped into the crew in um, these horrible, nasty, awful woods, and uh, is uh, is along for the ride. Mm -hmm. And finally, Rocky yeah. also is a child. <laughs> Rocky is a child. <laughs> Thank you. Um, finally, is Satoshi uh, the water genasi pilot that the party, uh, who was given, to, uh, who became a ally to the party and a pilot for them, who drives the Red Lake or airship for them, or pilots the Red Lake or airship for them, and is currently also the caregiver of a baby that the party had seen just get birthed by the world, a little fire genasi child called Peaches, or Peach. Um, yeah, I play Satoshi um, as they help the party, and they are a sorcerer, or a storm sorcerer, and also a, a modi classed one level into Monk, because they thirst for blood. <laughs> <laughs> punch he likes to punch things all of a sudden. Fuck his magic. <laughs> yes, or their magic, sorry. Um, yes, you guys ready to go straight in? Yep. I'm ready. Yeah. Ready, right. Freddy. Let's get that trauma going. Oh, God, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was meant to do that. Cuts out the happy music, starts playing like Claire de Lune. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Not Claire de Lune. And we start by Rocky dying. Rocky just there drops dead. So yeah, uh, we end the session with Rocky, you on your knees. Lo Nico, you're a bit further ahead as well. Um, as all around you, suspended chunks of... Uh, lo-fi boys metallic pieces nails bolts and um the flowers are just strewn around you held to in place by just the magic that surges and radiates off this giant crystal core at the center if you just give me a second and as like you're looking at it you can just see the pieces tear and try to pull at Lo-Fi Boy's uh, core. And as it's tearing and pulling at him, you see the... It get like blown off and torn apart by uh, Lo-Fi Boy's wild magic as the crystals start growing around him and almost create like a wall, a shield around this... Um, around the 
this walking uh, plant silhouette. And you see lavender uh, sprigs blooming around as these, uh, the air becomes very still, cold, and the smell of lavenders a linger in the air. And in front of you, uh, Ra uh, Rocky, where Lo-Fi Boy dropped a few of their belongings, you see a origami person. You see some of his equipment, his umbrella, um, and you also see a two two photos, uh, one with Lo-Fi Boy and uh, two adults. Uh, you assume they were his family, and one with a child, uh, but without Lo-Fi Boy. And that is that you can also assume is um, his family before he he joined them. And you see the the seed that uh, dropped uh, from Lo-Fi Boy also begins to start sprouting. As you see that grow into a lavender sprig as well. And gr grows very rapidly. As you can see glitch and surge with magic as it begins to just uh, sprout upwards. And you can hear Lo-Fi Boy's voice, but no distortion no crackling and Polly you can it sounds almost like when you you can you can um, hear like gardens um, plant like voice on this what everyone else you guys hear lo-fi voice voice and uh, but a lot more clearer uh, there is no glitchy uh, radio -y static uh, in his voice and you just hear the words we will miss you when lavender's core beats a lot always when time together Please take care, Lavender, rest of us. You always part a family, garden for us and for him. Uh, uh, um, I, I'm going to pick up the, the lavender or the seed. Mm hmm. Um, and then I, I kind of I hold it in one hand while uh, my other hand I pick up the two pictures um, and I I want to just kind of put those pictures gently in my bag mm -hmm. but not like get them damaged at all mm -hmm. still on my knees I just kind of I look back at my friends and it's like I, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't, Rocky. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't think I, I, I don't think I, I don't think I, I get it, you know? I just don't get it, you know, you know, I, I don't. I don't get it. Lo kind of like she's like sort of on her hands and knees at the moment, just staring, but she kind of scrambles onto her feet to like stand by the edge of the crater. Mm -hmm. Yuki walks up to you when you do that and tries to help you up and walks alongside you. And kind of like but... holds you in like a little hug, sorry. <laughs> she'll probably end up falling to her knees again just in shock just staring ahead uh, um, Rocky okay. yeah she's crying but because she's wearing the mask it's like she's got silent tears so you probably just see them dripping from her chin mm. um, but yeah she's just staring at the crystal uh, Rocky wants to to walk over to her um, and kind of give her like a side hug. Um, it'll be okay. When you say that, um, Yuki <clears throat> looks up at you, uh, Rocky, 
and like you can see that Yuki doesn't kind of struggles in this situation with uh, giving comfort to Lo. Um, but like when you go to place your hand, they move almost as if to like let you um, uh, to direct it then like um, rub her back, and then Yuki just shifts into their little kitsune form and just kind of curls around low and wraps his tails around both of you and you can feel this cold warmth emanate off the uh, kitsune as they also have a few silent tears dripping off their face can I like could we still see like the kind of I guess the soul or the whatever walked into the crystal. Yeah, you, you, see, you can still see its silhouette within this crystal wall that's like being surrounded by this giant Shiseki stone. And um, it's like still glowing? I yeah, guess? it's still it's still it's still pulsing and surging and the plants are still trying to grow around it. And like lavenders are blooming alongside Bougainvillea. As it just keeps surging and just releasing and radiating magic. Uh, I believe last we left off, like Randall was like prone on the ground, mm -hmm. like reaching out, trying to like hold him back beforehand. But like at this at this moment, he pretty much just like buries his face down into like the ground. And, pulls his hat down and joins in with the, the crying like there's there's nothing else he feels he can do right now Polly um sort of turns away to give them their privacy to to grieve you know mm. just sort of um give them their their private moment Satoshi will come behind you Rocky and next to you and when they got when you look at them as they hold uh, your shoulder, you can see their hair isn't raging or moving at all, and has just kind of like fallen down, and grows very long behind him, and just like a waterfall that falls off of his head, um, as like they're trying to keep themselves together, as like they're also holding Peach close as well. And they, uh, when um, they come to you, Rocky, they just pat you on the shoulder and just give you a little nod. It's okay. Uh. <clears throat> uh, I, I hand uh, uh, Lonika the, the lavender. Or like gesture towards her to take it or not. She'll hold it very gently, kind of in both of her hands. Um, is was Lo Fi Boy's umbrella on the floor? Yeah. She'll like go to pick his umbrella up as well. And as you guys are just taking in the stillness, you, it feels like time just melts away. And as it's melting away, you see the ash still fall around you, creating a thin white layer that makes a ghostly white that reflects, uh, reflects the pinks, purples, and oranges of the setting sun through curtains of green clouds from the ruins of the explosion of Kasakawa Mountain and the prison. Satoshi just goes to hold you tight, uh, Rocky, as well.
Uh, maybe we should. Ah, uh, I'm thinking I should uh, scout ahead a little bit. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check up on uh, some things ahead. Make sure there's no danger or anything. I'll, I'll be right. I'll be right around. So she just. Um, you can see a bit of concern on their face when you say that. And they... I, I kind of give. No, I was gonna say I just give Satoshi a look, kind of like uh, 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 just watch over like Lonico. Oh, they just give a smile. Mm -hmm. Stay safe. Lonico will turn to Yuki and ask them to go with Rocky. Yuki gives a nod, and then trails behind you, and just starts running. And when they run away, you can see their colors shift to blues and purples. As they watch um, the crater, as they're running around it, following you. How far do you plan to run away, uh, run around Rocky, out of curiosity? Or sky ahead? Um, just... I don't really know. I'm, I'm just going to look over here by this crystal area right now, and then I'm going to uh, um, probably walk around the crater a bit. Because mm -hmm. when you walk around, you guys, you can you, you, you assume you're near the end of the forest. As you can see the silhouette of Otani uh, village up ahead, it's a walled and the castle um, silhouetting against the, uh, the sky. And you can just follows you. Uh, yeah. Rocky's just gonna hang here for a moment. Um, and is this a tree? What is this brown? This is just a little, right little like cracks in the ground. Okay. Um, this one's kind of walk on the other side of the tree so it can't be seen and just kind of sit and stare towards the city mm -hmm. right now. Right. Yeah, just I keep an eye out if, I... if like there's anything around like creature wise mm -hmm. yeah i haven't got any map for it so i can't really do much but <laughs> okay <laughs> I, i'm on the other side of the street that's the where i'm at mm -hmm. <laughs> oh i lost myself satoshi turns to everyone else sees how they're all uh handling it as they come to as they get down on their knees next to Lonico and just pat her on the head and you can hear Peach give a slight little whimper as well. Polly would like to um, step, sort of step forward, step a little closer. Um, I know I didn't know, I know I didn't know him for long, but I can tell he really meant a lot to you guys. Um, and if if you wouldn't mind, I I would be honored to to carve some kind of um, marker to to place here to remember him by. I think we'd all like that, Polly. Thank you. Thought she gives a nod as well. Lonika would take a a deep breath and kind of put Lofi's umbrella like in her bag and like she'll hold on to the lavender because she doesn't want to put it <laughs> in her bag and like hurt it in any way so she'll still be holding that in her hand but she'll take a deep breath and stand up and just slowly make her way over to Randall mm -hmm. um, Polly's just gonna search for some materials to start putting together a, a, a marker you won't need to roll anything for that. You just start wandering and searching. And if if you wanted help, Satoshi will offer. The, I can I can help you if you like. That would be fantastic. Lonico is gonna just very slowly um, and gently go down and like sit on her her knees and just gently put her hand on. Randall's back. Mr. Randall? Yeah, kid. 
we should start getting ready to make a move before it gets dark. We can always come back. I honestly don't know if it's the best idea that I keep going with you guys. I feel that my curse is still with me. Loniko's like her grip on <laughs> Randall's back just like tightens. <laughs> she forms like a little fist in his clothes. Mm. Um This uh, it is not a curse, Mr. Randall. We've all got things going on that make us a danger to others. Please. Come with Rand us. Randall just slowly starts to rise, like revealing like these red eyes just from crying into the ground pretty much and this is the last time if if it happens again I might finally crack she'll just give Randall like the biggest hug <laughs> and like yeah like that'll make Randall just weep again just fully <sighs> All right, let's uh, get to town, I guess. Oh, five boy, he wouldn't want us to blame ourselves. I know, I know. We, we have to keep moving and keep going forward. And she's just, yeah. <laughs> A group of just titans. <laughs> Always forward. Let's go. Get out of this roll, damn forest. Roll perception. You do. And Polly, if you'd like to roll perception as well for me. Okay. Bro, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. Why His now? tears are too strong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> true, man. Like, I can't see, man. It, my eyes oh, are burning. Oh. How do we see when my eyes are burning? Well, I'm Randall, trying, man. yeah, you you don't you don't notice at all. But Lo and Polly, you can hear sniffling and slight, just the the slightest pitter patters of tears. A small, uh, you see Satoshi picking some peaches uh, from the tree mm -hmm. here. And then he, um, when he comes over to you both, uh, Lo and Randall, he, you, they, they're not there anymore, but he offer, uh, they offer both you peaches, a peach each, and it gives you one to you, Polly. Thank you. Always forward. Thank you, Captain. Always forward. He just holds on to, uh, they hold their heart for a second and then wave it forward. Polly would like to um, take the things that she has acquired mm -hmm. and assemble the marker and uh, place it right at the edge of the crater. What does the marker look like, Polly? It's um, simple, but um, it's got some carvings of, of flowers and vines, um, just a straight up and down sort of... Uh, carved from a single uh, branch. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And she just um, stakes it in the ground here and sort of gently pats the soil up around it um, to make sure that it'll stay. There you are. Nice little marker for you. There. It's beautiful. Thank it's you, Polly. It's the least I could do. Lonely will take Randall's hand and start going towards Rocky. Mm -hmm. 
Definitely will, uh, will be a place to go? come back and pr and pray for to some sort of god. <laughs> right. Um, Rocky, you see, um, how far, you, are you just, like, walking around the, the crater as you watch the village? Uh, I'm sitting against the, the tree right now. Mm -hmm. Like, back, back towards where my friends are. Like, I'm hiding. Like, they, they wouldn't be able to see me at first glance. I'm not, like, actively hiding, just. Yeah. When. Out of view. When you went to sit down, just Yuki, you know, see, would shrink themselves a bit. And. They look at you a bit concerned and a bit nervous as they look at you and keeping their eye, all three eyes of theirs focused on you, they slowly climb up your leg. And Do I, I see them? Yeah, you can see them. Okay. Do you stop uh, him or do you keep them? He can, he can get on my leg. Um... Uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, what would, if, if you had a, you know, if you had a lockbox, uh, what would you, uh, what would you use to open it? Uh, Yuki. Hmm. A key. Yuki, yeah. Oh. Yuki. Well, that's, Get it. <laughs> that's, that's, you, you see Yuki now just start to cry. <laughs> so balls their eyes that they gotta curl into your lap that's funny <laughs> yeah i just thought of it so uh that'd be funny when you when you look down at them you can see that like they're holding a tiny monocle in their hand for us for a second a tiny what a tiny monocle monocle <laughs> why do you have a what was that monocle it was it was a prop for when 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 you said the joke but but then i started crying and well i don't want to get my monocle dirty oh nice thing about monocles and any type of glass is that even if they're dirty they can they can be clean again you know kind of their whole thing just don't scratch it that's the that's the tricky bit <laughs> as they watch the uh, the village with you and you can hear the group coming up behind you. Kind of, uh, what kind of, uh, what kind of drink, uh, what kind of drink would we, uh, would, would we get there? Uh, a, a city, get it? Like a tea. Because <laughs> it's a city. Satoshi stifles a laugh <laughs> and then gives you a little, uh, gives you a peach. Oh, hey. Hello. Thank you. Appreciate it. Please, a, a vegan peach. It's organic. Gluten Perfect. free. Yeah, nice. Not the only way to eat them. Can I take a bite? You can. It's a very bite. crisp peach. Ooh. It's the best peach you've ever eaten in your life. That was a good peach. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, you also, you guys all heard his little city joke as you guys came around. You guys uh, making your way then? Yeah. Mark, he stands up and begins to walk, I guess. Give me a second. How, how far till town? It looks like it will be a few hours before you make, make it back. Like an hour or two. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Randall. Uh, what kind of, what kind of, what would you, what would you call a, a toy that you play with? A, a Randall. <laughs> that's not me off the character. That's just that again. Um, the nightfall starts falling very quickly as you leave um, the wild magic grave and um, like it's already like by like five o'clock 
the sky is full of stars and there's still like a bit of a walk left you guys uh, want to make your way to the town still or do you guys want to stop up we should probably continue on to town yeah town will be safer i'm okay with continuing on yeah mm -hmm. yeah Lonely Coke and like use her dancing lights to keep them. Mm -hmm. You guys make your way onto a stone road as you guys keep just following your way uh, towards the sea. We're gonna move you over here. Uh, just uh, as a note, uh, dynamic lighting is a bit broken uh, in a few places. So just uh. Just a heads up about that. All right. <clears throat> yeah, you guys make it to. Um, you want to? It's a bit of an incline now, as you hear um, water rushing. As you can see that there is a moat that um, surrounds this uh, not giant, but it's a fairly high wall of slanted uh, cobblestone. And then high white stone um, with wooden beams up, uh, situated all along its uh, its length. And you can see silhouettes of fire genasi, tieflings, uh, and some shorter people um, um, walking the the length of the, the walls. You can notice uh, some of those ears are Bakoran ears, um, like Polly's, but other ears are pointed. And the silhouettes are very strange to everyone but Polly. Um, could you all roll me history check except for Polly? Because Polly, you know what those are. Mm hmm. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I got the highest out of that, wasn't it? That's <laughs> rough. <laughs> Give me a second as I put some music on. All too traumatized. <laughs> yeah, there's too much trauma right now to to realize. I can't think about history. Yeah, it's a bit too history. It's a, it's a bit too dark to remember what or to recognize these silhouettes, but you you can't imagine you guys have a clue what any of these are. Polly, you know that they are goblins. Mm -hmm. Um, as like as native uh, civilians or citizens of um, Otani. Uh, someone Piper situate the chat. <laughs> what did you just say? I said Piper enters the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, I really listen that now in hindsight. But yeah, you um, you see these goblins walking the length of the walls, and but like looking at the gate of the sea you, is uh, a Tory gate framed uh, with L elves tieflings guarding it on a little like a uh, separate island almost um with a bridge of stone uh similar st same stone as the road uh like a mix of like um cobble just printed and pressed down uh but smoothed as it makes its way down the hill and you can see uh, some kamainu statues also guarding the bridge as you can see Otani, another bridge yeah, another bridge if you would all like to make a perception check, as you can hear the guards having a little conversation as they're walking around. Dear Lord. Oh. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go, let's go. Come oh. on! <laughs> Dude. Okay, I'm Insistent. Got a plus save. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I will know. Got like one of the highest scores with your dad one. <laughs> Jesus. I will know. You, uh, Rocky does have advantage from inspiration and chat. You guys can give chat inspiration using your channel points if you'd like to. I can use my. I can I use my uh, advantage today. now. You don't do combat today. <laughs> no combat. Yeah, I want to do combat today. Like, this, these yes. roles are not for suited oh. for combat. Well, if we get all the bad rules now, maybe by combat we'll have good ones. Uh, Is this? Oh. I'll do. Nope. Should I do my advantage now? Is it being weird for you? Yeah. I I can't see anything beyond this point. Yeah, what I'm, what I'm gonna you... do is. Oh. Sorry. Oh, yeah, oh. if you walk past right. it, it'll. Just fix gonna itself. walk through the void. Yeah. yeah. What, I'm, what I'm gonna do is that. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of dynamic lighting for this map because it's not. Right. So, okay. Well, while Lord. you guys, 
<laughs> Holy crap. As Polly and Lonico make their way forward. And Satoshi also is uh, walking along. Um, if you guys just wait a second, as you can hear the guards having a little conversation. Give me a second as I pull up my notes. Add inspiration. Oh, we got you. Thank you, Swordsmith. Who, who would you like to give that inspiration to? You need it. <laughs> Randy. 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 Yeah. You can overhear uh, some of the guards. Like uh, One of the elven guards is just talking uh, to... Or kind of like just like shouting little commands here and there. And saying, just keep an eye out. Um, there might be some words gotten down that there might have been some prisoners that have gotten loose. I don't know how that that mountain went kaboom. <laughs> but like the heroes told me a prisoner or two might have gotten loose. We, we don't know. So just keep an eye out. We've just gone shift. So just I need you to keep your wits about you. The other guards haven't said nothing's happened, but just be prepared. Oh, also, uh, another note on the brief. Um, with the mountain uh, going, going, bye bye. bye. Um, some of the yokai that have been layering up there are, have been making their way down, and word's gone that like, there have been several Oni attacks on the guards all over, um, over at the Kasakawa gates. And throughout the countryside, so please um, keep an eye out and make sure you alert everyone should you hear or see a yokai coming by. And as Polly and uh, Lo, you get close, hold it, hold. You hear the fire genasi uh, at the gates shout, "Who goes there?" Uh, you hi, yokai? It, no, it's uh, it's it's Polly. I live I live here. You got your papers? Um, she starts patting herself down frantically. Um, I had papers. All right, I'll inspect those in a second. Uh, you, other person, you stay back there, okay? Uh, oh, okay. Polly, <laughs> she's gonna give the thumbs up. <laughs> Miss Polly, step forward, please. Yep, coming. And also Hi. that chat inspiration can go to anyone that takes it. So like, you, it's first come, first serve. Did I hear the stuff about prisoners, by the way? You heard all of it. Okay, great. I'm going to message, uh, <laughs> use message uh, to talk to Rocky and Randall. Um, <laughs> and let Thank them you. know. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. Okay. <laughs> and that they're asking for papers. <laughs> Dipping into the trees here. You want to roll stealth for me? Rocky, Rocky. <laughs> I haven't seen. Give me a second. I have an idea. <laughs> what do you mean you have an idea? Get in here. <laughs> All right. Who's that giant? Okay, dad? what is okay. going on <laughs> here, dude? You got that team? It got is 13. night, and I can I um. Since I heard all that information, can I go ahead and use my merge with stone on uh, Randall and I, which gives us the uh, pass without trace spell? Yep. So, so okay, okay, was, hold, that on, becomes hold 20, on, hold on, hold on. That okay. becomes 23, I believe. <laughs> These are some atrocious lives. Yeah, they are. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Thank you, thank you. But, okay, I, and I pull out of my, like, my, uh, my bag. I, I have our papers that, that we're going to need, but I, I don't I know how... <laughs> I wasted think... a spell on this. What do you mean you have I, our papers? I was trying to say, wait a minute. <laughs> and you just did it. Sorry, I got trigger happy. I still think it, like, <laughs> it's a little. It's going to be dangerous to go in there with just our papers when we're, you know, they're, they probably have our names as escaped convicts you, and stuff. You have the. No, you have the melon sword, right? Yes, I have melon slice. What right. I'm thinking is that we, uh, we finagle a little bit about, uh, we hunted down a yokai. We even have his weapon as proof. And maybe that gives us a little bit of leeway. Okay. Okay, that's... I like your... Okay, that's a good plan. I like that. I mean, we still leave with the papers, and then we bring up the yokai thing, and, you know, and it kind of gives us, you know, maybe they trust a little bit more. I need a new guardian. <laughs> <laughs> the guardian just exploded. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> 
<laughs> are you telling like who you who like are you, is this through message or like no, I'm just loose, just like a oh, shit. <laughs> Every day, what is it? Are you okay? Like under her breath. <laughs> you, 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 you okay, Lo? As Satoshi steps behind, you hear his, uh, his boots behind you as as they make their way, um, hold carrying Peach. Are you okay? Well, uh, well, technically, I'm still supposed to have a guardian, I think. Um, and at first it was Lysera, but then she left and she gave, um, the papers to Lo-Fi Boy, but. Love boy. Um. So. Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Well, I mean, I, I mean, I can, I can be your guardian for now. Great. Cool. I, I, cool. All right. Everything okay? It's okay. Don't worry. You just. Parent, give, give, give she's just now. like she just give stood papers. up like really stuck straight. Like <laughs> turn, turn, turn a bit towards me or uh, pretend like you're really sad. Oh wait, no, don't do that. You don't need to do that because you're already sad. Huh? No, no, it's, it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm gonna come in for a hug. Give me your papers. As he comes, okay. as he crashes down and hugs. Do you. I have my own papers? I'm gonna say Lo-Fi Boy's equipment that like you picked up had. Okay. <laughs> and as that happened, you see you uh, Satoshi also tap Peaches on the head, and you see like this water drip down Peaches' uh, body. As Peaches shifts into a elf baby. And Satoshi also changes shape into an elf as well. Does Rocky, Rocky see that? <laughs> Roll perception, because it is very dark and like they. And we're in a bush. Yeah, you guys are. You well, guys I'm are not high. like really in a bush. I'm by a tree, but I have clear sight, like right here. Bro. Yeah, roll perception. Hey, is it is it is quite dark. Come on. <laughs> what are my rules you, today? You, you see guys, Satoshi's not, silly really hair bro. shift a bit. Okay, it's gonna be okay. I got your papers. Um, we're just gonna say, I mean, babies don't. I would, you know, I have a birth certificate for the baby. Oh, okay, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Don't that worry. didn't end well the last time we went to a city. I don't. I know. I, I can. I, it usually doesn't. I mean, the fact that like it's just a child and anyway, without papers. Well, I'll figure it out. I'll talk. I'll talk. I'll talk my way through this. I do, wait. <laughs> can oh, I do my performance of creation and make a birth certificate? Okay, you can. Depending on how long Polly, like the little RP of Polly's gonna take. <clears throat> it's instant if that helps. <laughs> that does help. You're a star. Um, you are able to quickly fashion a birth certificate for Peach. Alright, Miss Polly, uh, if you could hand me over your papers, please. Sure, sure, sure can do, sir. And she, like, hands them out of her pocket and just whap. Right, how, uh, how, how, are, how are you today? Um, I mean, a bit on edge. Uh, I mean, we just got told that like there's there's likely prisoners on the loose. And, oh uh, no! And really? Yokai, yokai have been coming down from the mountain. Um, oh, that's horrible. Where, uh, have you have you have you just come you just come out of the forest or you? How, 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 uh, yeah, I. You might know my mom. Um, we run the the local sh shop. Um, uh, she sent me out to to sell some instruments. Um, and I got quite turned around in there, you see, and, uh, luckily I bumped into some acquaintances of mine and they helped me get through. Um, is the town okay? I'm really concerned about my mom, you see. Uh, it is, they, the yokai haven't gotten into the town or? Sorry, repeat that again, sorry. The, the I'm, I'm concerned about my, my mom, like, ha has the town been attacked or? Oh. Oh no, it's fine. Uh, the town's been fine. Miss Eno, uh, your mother, uh, yes, because you, you, as you said, mm -hmm. you, you were the workshop. Yeah, like it's the only one in the house. I mean, she's been she's been keeping busy. Uh, oh, she's actually just finished goodness. putting up the last set of ramps, and um, around the town. Um, That's so good. I'm I'm. So, she'll be so glad to hear that um, my friends and I are safe. Oh, oh that's well. I'm I'm glad you I'm glad you're I'm glad you're all safe. Because yeah, no, like I mean. It's, it's a it's a it's a wonder that you you haven't 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 been scarred by the events that have been happening. Um, it was um, there was some some horrible dark vibes in that forest. Honestly, the vibes they were off. So I I have to warn you, sir. You should really be careful. Um, it was it was really scary. Give me a second. 
Papius. Okay, uh, as I just looking over your papers, I can imagine it's scary, but like I'm glad that you are safe and your friends are all fine. Um, mm -hmm. But if you if you want to, you can you can make your way through the gate, or you can uh, you can just wait here for your friends if you'd like, and I can wait bring... with my friends. They're okay. unfamiliar with um, the area, and I'd really like to show them around. I'd like to show them um, that one restaurant. You know, the one two doors down from my mom's place. Oh yes, the um. Oh, what's it called? The fish and the herring. Yeah, that's the one. I'm really excited to take them there. I mean, it's been such a long journey. I just can't wait to um, put my feet up, you know? Mm. Well, um, I, I hope you, you'll be able to get some good rest uh, once you're back home. Uh, and you're safe now. Uh, you're, you're, <sighs> once, once you pass these walls, no harm. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be perfectly fine. Thank you so much. Oh, and also, um, I'm happy that you're you're making it to the the moon market this year. Uh, but yes, take, 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 if you so exciting. There, let's, let's bring let's bring your next friend on. Uh, what's what's, what's, what's their name? Uh, this, uh, you mean Lo? And yes. she turns over her shoulder and she's like, Lo Nico. Miss Lo Nico, uh, if you if you would like to come ahead, uh, Polly, if you could just stand behind the Tori Tori gate for me, please. I sure can. Thank you. Yes, uh, Miss Lonico, please uh, step forward. Uh, yes, um, and she's gonna look at Satoshi as well. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Uh, uh, Satoshi starts walking forward. Uh, sir, please. St uh, sorry. Um, person. Oh, I don't know what the formal. <laughs> what they them would be. Partner. Other person. Pa partner. Partner. <laughs> partner. Stay back, please. Um. <laughs> I'm I'm her guardian. What do you what do you what do you mean you're 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 her guardian? I was just gonna put her hand up like I'm fifteen. Oh oh yes yes come forward. <laughs> Sorry I thought I thought you were you were a Bokoran girl or like a gnome or something. Oh no I I'm human. Oh oh come forward. Well well well. Let's let's get this sorted then. All right papers please. Ah oh, yes. Um as they start um rifling through their uh through their pockets. Handing all right, these are lonely cost papers uh, here. Um, let's see, do you have to roll anything for your creation? Uh, no, it just happens. Oh, right, you create a perfect <laughs> forged. Piece. I, I mean, it faintly you faintly hear music when you touch it, <laughs> but Lo's just gonna like sway back and forth so that her bells drink off. <laughs> As you hear a bit of jingling as they take uh, peaches, um, birth certificate and papers. And uh, they start, uh, Satoshi starts looking through their pockets for their papers. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Takes off their jacket. Oh, it's in my other pocket. And then they, uh, it's in one of their bomb pockets. They pull out a, uh, like a, uh, a booklet. Here. Oh, this is old. Uh, the, the Fire Genasi says. Hmm. Oh, okay. Um, Lo Nico, you are from Tashma Ray. Um, you've been transferred f through a few guardians, it seems. Hopefully, um, everything everything's fine with you at home. Everything okay? Oh, it, yes, everything is fine. It's just well, I've been going so many different places, you know, and um, not everyone. Our past just diverged, is all. They had to return ah. and deal with other business. Yes, um, they would just... Mr. Toshi just starts starring on their words. And you can see they are sweating. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay, it's, it's okay, partner. It'll be fine. Um, okay, Lonico, here are your papers. Uh, just keep a hold and look after those. Um... Looking at and then looks at uh, Peach. Now I'm curious, uh, Lonico, what you put on uh, Peach's <laughs> regarding parentage. Would you have? What would you put down? Um, I mean, Satoshi looks like an elf, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? So yeah. I guess you put down Satoshi's name. 
uh, and like just <laughs> just another random name. <laughs> what would that name be? Um, she would put down. Um, oh my god, she put down. Uh, probably just. The first thing that comes into her head, which would probably be um... Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> <laughs> she would put down uh... Kira. Kira. <laughs> Where is uh, Miss Kira, um, uh, partner Satoshi? <laughs> oh, uh, um, oh, K- Kira's, uh, Kira's, uh, off, uh, busy, uh, do, do, uh, do, um, do, do, doing work. Um, she, she, she's on a business trip, and, uh, we're just, we're just visiting family, we're, we're, we're family friends of Polly. Um, yes. Polly wave. The, if I just turns to Polly and waves at you. Kira's now she's waving with both long. hands. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. It's such a shame she couldn't get the time off work. Oh yeah, no, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was a shame. Like she's been needing a break. She overworks herself, you see. She's a freelance artist, and like uh, she's also like doing part-time work in a coffee shop. Um, she's, she's, uh, she's, she's just so stressed. And, like I'm, I'm, I keep telling her, but like, but she, she needed to work, so I had to, I had, to, I had to do this. Um, we just so, couldn't convince her. Yeah, no, it's just, she, she's very stubborn like that, you see. But um, but I'm here. And I, I'm taking care of the baby, and of course, little Nico is under my uh, guardianship. I, 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 I will, I will take. It will be fine. Mm-hmm. Well, the papers seem fine. Um. Did, where was you? Where were you planning on staying, uh, Mr. Uh, sorry, partner Satoshi? Uh, and Satoshi looks at you, Polly. Polly's like. Pointing and mouthing like really big, my house. Bro, <laughs> performance. Can I cast guidance? Yes. <laughs> on, I, I think it's touched, so I'll have to cast it on Satoshi. They try and perceive <laughs> with guidance. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Polly's house. Yes, we're staying at Polly's house. Mm-hmm. That's where we are staying. Okay. It's very late. <laughs> it is. Uh, and Lonely cause she's been walking for a while through the forest. Uh, so we uh, we had to run away from Oni out there. Yeah. Oh, the so many, there was like twenty. Oh, oh, it's dreadful. We 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 were we were lucky to get out of life. Um, but luckily we're here now, obviously. Um, and uh, it'd be appreciated if you uh, let us through. Um. Uh, Yep, all, all, all seems fine. Uh, you guys can go through the gate if you'd like. Um, and uh, welcome to Otani. I hope you enjoy the moon market if you are st- uh, sticking around for it. Well, that sounds lovely. Thank you very much. Yes, thank thank, thank you so much. Uh, hopefully we'll see you at the, uh, at the, at the, at the, at the moon market. As uh, <laughs> Satoshi just starts walking. Where's Rocky and Randall? <laughs> Let's go over to them <laughs> as you guys are being ushered through the gate by the team. Because Lo's like, uh, Quick. could she just like message and be like, guys, what are you doing? Uh. <laughs> you have. Be there in a jiffy. <laughs> Let's roll, Rocky. Let's see how this goes. As you guys get ushered I'll... in <laughs> through the gate. Here's your papers. You're cool. You're taking. Here's your, here's your papers. Take them. Okay. It'll look weird if I have them. I, I am a little concerned, though, because last time I tried to enter a city, they, they were like, hey, you're a Janassi. We're going to arrest you. So even if I'm not a prisoner, I am slightly concerned that I'm just going to go to jail. <laughs> for well, other... do you, How do you want to like hide that? What do you want to do? Dude? I don't know. It's not like All I can the... paint your face and make you look like a human right now. I think I can. I think... I think I need to sneak in. Whether or not you do, I think I need to sneak in. Of fucking course. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I just saw that. Don't worry about it. What was that roll? <laughs> None of your business. Uh, uh, wait, um... Yellow? There's not really a way in, though. Alright, then... Uh, wait, uh, Polly? <laughs> yeah? Should I mean, wait? yeah. 
Sh- shouldn't we wait for for our other friends? Oh. They, they were a bit behind. Oh, um, you know what? That totally slipped my mind. I'm just so tired. I know, I... but they're, they're awfully slow walkers. Um, but we, we really should wait for them. You're Thank so you. right. Can 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 Polly like um address the the guard and be like, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Um well I'm so sorry. We uh our friends are actually right behind us. Would it be okay if we waited for them? The the elf guy that like ushered you in with the tiefling, they both look at each other for a second. Hmm. Yeah. I guess he'll be f- Okay, all right. Come to back. Come back through, but like, be close, cause like, just in case. Okay. As they go back to uh, discussing their little conversation, and like you hear them, um, as like Rocky and Randall are making their way down and discussing, you hear uh, these guards talking, and the elf mentions that their son, uh, yeah, my son's uh, going to be selling his cakes at the Moon Market this year, and the thief's like, oh, really? Are they gonna make the little strawberry ones again? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They say very proudly. But what I'm thinking, Randall, is see, clearly they're not pro Earth Genasi here, like this is the fire genasi territory, you know? <laughs> um And that's gonna be a bit of a damper on my existence here. So I think who you go ahead. Right? Can and I'll have to sneak around some way, somehow. I'm gonna, I could go do Are you good at surveillance? I sing like a rock, but I do all right. Um, and then Lone Eco just like kind of loudly be like, Oh, Polly, I hope those two are all right, you know, because they were, they were guarding us against those horrible, terrifying Oni. I hope I they know. got away okay. Otherwise, I... oh, I mean, we do need to pay them for their their guarding services and whatnot. Mama Eno will be so happy to meet them. I mean, oh, I they think... work ever so hard protecting all of us and the baby. Do I, do I hear this? Oh, <laughs> yeah, you hear your I, I don't think they made okay, well, it without I've these two. Been outed as I've been outed as someone that needs to walk in now. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have a choice. <laughs> She said two of us, so either it's suspicious because there's only one, or it's suspicious because I, I crawl say you, around. I could say you died in the woods or something, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, be a whole right. other lie. <laughs> I'll just, <clears throat> I'll risk it. I'll do what I can. It's not that I don't believe in your capability of crossing a moat without getting seen, Rocky, but I don't. <laughs> Or drowning. <laughs> to be fair, you'd be like loudly swimming, splashing. Like, <laughs> this isn't like. Oh, oh yeah, here's my papers. Just like look at this. And I'm talking. I know I'm talking really loudly. It's how I talk normally. Oh as... shoot! I didn't even see the bridge. But I get caught. Like, oh, I didn't even know there was a bridge. My as you guys, uh... I thought we had to swim. As you guys get closer, you see a leaf drop onto your shoulder, Rocky, and swirl around you as this little spirit comes out of it and gifts you inspiration. And I the fight. Punch it for a second because I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> when you got to punch it, it like pulls, puts its fist down, fist bumps you, and then gives you oh. inspiration. As I think I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> as like you're like you're having that happen. Uh, Lo and Polly, as you guys are shouting, the fire just, <laughs> quiet, please. You might alert us, uh, some yokai. Uh, quiet, oh, I'm quiet, so please. sorry. You see, I'm a bard. I'm used to projecting my oh, so, voice. Please, it's, it's a bit quiet. Uh, I'm, I'm so just, sorry. If, if you'd like, I... it, we, could, we could send some guards out searching for your friends. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna non-suspiciously whistle like <gasps> a tune. That way, they think I'm just casually walking in, and I know where I'm going. You get me? Who goes there? As I hear your footsteps. <laughs> oh look! There they are now! I can't whistle right! Hey. Joe's the worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> My lips are too dry for this. <laughs> oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! oh step back! Step back! Step back! Yo! Step back! Oh, I got it at the end there. Hello. Happy. 
party partners. Who goes there? How's it going? <laughs> Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Rocktoberfest, uh, and this is my buddy right here. He could say his name. He's a grown man. Mr. Sidio. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Me? <laughs> yeah. This is Mr. Sidio. Mr. Sidio. <laughs> okay. No, he's a grown oh, man. It's my last name. You said your last name. I didn't want to say my, last, my first name. Gotcha. It, was, it was just like uh, <laughs> when it is rock, Mr. Oktoberfest, and this is my friend. He can he's a grown man, so he can say. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! All right. Okay. How, what's your name, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, partner? I could see. I could see too. Uh... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> a tootsie roll? No, a cutsy. That, you are a cutie, that's for sure. How's it going? Well, thank you. <laughs> stop, stop you. Get your papers I ready. Wink. Yeah. I said stop. <laughs> now you, you, Mr. Sidio, your papers, please. Ah, yeah, yeah. Here you go, right here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're from Halagis. Hmm. What, uh, what brings yeah. you to uh, Shrey Leo, sir? Oh, you know, just traveling, sailing the seas. Hmm? You, 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 are you, are you a sailor for work or? Or do you go on cruises? Sir, please be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, he's a bit of a folk singer for that one. Oh, I see, I see. I'm not, 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 not a big fan of folk music. No? I'm sorry, I taught him some folk songs. It's okay, Loni, Miss Loni Co. <clears throat> I also like rock. Uh, but don't make that joke. That is offensive if you say it. So Why would it be offensive, sir? Um, because I like folk more. I don't know. Carry on. Just do your job. Yeah, let me let me do my job, sir. That's what to... I said. Thank you. Carry on. As I was saying. I wink again. <laughs> sir, I will have to apprehend you. I will. Uh, look, I'd appreciate it if you didn't talk to my friend like that. Yeah. Stop. I apologize. I step. I step. But take a step back. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Mr. City. As I was saying, so uh, do you, uh, you do you go on cruises, or you are you a sailor for work, or uh, I'm just a sailor on my own. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's da dangerous. Sailor. As you just see the Janassi just turn to you. <laughs> it's dangerous work, but uh, well, I mean, you, any any particular. Oh, you've seen you've seen the sights. Sorry, my mistake. My mistake. Well, hopefully, uh, Otani provides some wonderful sights for you, and uh, you enjoy. Um, <clears throat> Enjoy the uh, the moon market. And yeah, I'm you, sure it'll they, be awesome. They let you through. I'll now you, uh, Miss. I'll, I'll, I'll wait here for with my friend. No, no, no. You, uh, you'll have to please get through the Tory gate. Uh, other side, please. Uh, uh, you could say that he's making his story, his Tory, something like that. Oh. It's, I'm working on it. Yeah, no. Please, please work harder. That wasn't. <laughs> Hey, you too. I do a little finger gun. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm working hard, not hardly working. Now, now Mr. October. Hey, I love to see it. I love to know that this city is being protected Tan. by good soldiers like you. Thank you. you. Know? Now, come forward, Mr. Oktoberfest. We're going to have to have a look at your papers. Are, are, are you a Mr. or a Mrs. or a, or I'm a, a partner? Mr. I, okay. <clears throat> I, I hand my uh, my papers. Hmm. Rocky Oktoberfest. Fest. Sorry, mom. sorry, mom. Mistake, mom. Mistake. My my lip got caught. What? Sorry, what my lip fact, got my, my lip got caught. I'm very, I'm very sorry, sir. <laughs> hmm. Says you are from Halagis. Looks, at, looks at you from Halagis. You were saying to, you were saying to Halagis. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. You see me on the sea. That's for seashore. <laughs> hmm. And I assume that's how you met Mr. Mr. Sidio. Then you both sail, but like, how? how uh, yeah. Okay. Well, what, um... I mainly clean the poop deck. Oh, I, I didn't... Hmm. I mean, Mr. Sidio said to you he worked alone, but... Maybe, maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a recent, like... It's mainly like we, we work alone, but we uh we <clears> join <throat> each other together every once in a while, you know? But we, we consider ourselves both lone wolves. Uh, both lone sea wolves, uh, in a matter of speaking. Uh, sea lions, maybe? I don't know if there's a saying for that or not. Uh, but we like, you know, that's how we met. We were, uh, I see. We met that way. 
You do see, and I am on the sea. <laughs> Technically, I'm on like a river right now, a bridge on a river, but that's different. Well, Miko, that's sailing the I mean, seas from Halligese. They point, sailing. they point outwards this way, and say, "Oh well, I mean that direction you'd be able to see." So, you see? Yeah, I see. See. All right, please pass the torch. Sure, so fine. Here's your papers. Thank you. And uh, if you find yourself uh, uh, singing the song I've been singing, just let you know I I'm working on a <laughs> record right now, and you'll be—I'll happily uh, give you a copy whenever it's done. Oh, um... Sailing the seas from Halligan. <laughs> Actually, would you care to uh, to sign a uh, sign sign an autograph then, uh, just so I for, for the future? One would more time. It, what did you say? Could, would you would you care to have a sign a quick autograph just just so when you when you make it big? And so I can well, my friends. I, I it just feels more necessary to have mm -hmm. a, an autograph on the CD, uh, the CCD. Get it? Because it's the C CD. Oh yeah, uh, of course. Uh, but I mean, what would you like me to sign? You want me to sign on, like your forehead or like your arm or your blade or something? Oh, they they just start looking rummaging <laughs> through their pockets. Oh. You have any paper on you? I mean, I have these papers. No, 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 not those papers. Those <laughs> I, 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 I begin to like oh, tear a piece perfect. off. Miss Low Nico, can I? Can, no, 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 stop tearing. <laughs> oh, you, need, you need those. Miss Low Nico. Uh, paper, is, uh, paper is my weakness. You know, rock, paper, scissors, and all it is what defeats me. Um, because I'm always rocking hard with my music. That's what I mean. Sail in the sea from. I'll yeah, get them a piece of paper. Yeah, um, <laughs> oh, I don't have a pen either. Miss Low Nico, you wouldn't have a pen. Or some ink or something? Uh, I should have some ink somewhere. Oh, just digs around for a bit. You're an absolute star, Miss Low Nico. That, I, 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 I guess that's why they, they say they've got stars in your eyes. Uh, makes sense. Indeed. I don't know what's happening right now. No, it's just Low Nico translate to a little seer with stars in her eyes. Oh, okay. I, I, okay, I understand now. <laughs> But yeah, they uh, they hand you the pen, the pen and paper that Lonico gave them. Thank you. I uh, sign, but it's like one of those autographs that like you can barely tell what the name says, you know. Mm -hmm. But it it looks fancy. Could it's just like a giant <laughs> R and then like a squiggly lines. Could you all slide a hand for me <laughs> to see how well you are able to do that? I thought I was about to get a nat 20. I was like, the one good roll, I guess. <laughs> <I know. laughs> <Just, laughs> Alright, I'm a little... Rusty. You try to make it fancy, but like your muscle memory on, like, kind of kicks in. And so you mm -hmm. just write Rocky in like a block writing. I do a little heart and a, a winky face next to it. <laughs> you see them just there. And I, 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 I wink, I wink again. They blush. Okay, Sorry, I got a twitch in my eye. Oh, oh, uh, oh of course. That Twitch is called, uh, Your Beauty. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead, you dog, you. <laughs> Sail in the seas from Alligate. <laughs> Sail in the seas from and the elf hey, and <laughs> Tiefling uh, begin to walk you. Uh, but, as soon, but as soon as they see Rocky and Randall, they stop. And they stay, stare at you both for a second. Hold on a minute. Mm-hmm. Probably recognize me from my hit song. Sail in the sea <clears throat> from Halligis. Sail in the sea. Okay. You see the elf turn to um to the two tieflings on the on the wall. And you see the door shut. Oh. Akatsu. Do you notice anything strange about the two fellas you've just let through? That were so dop drop dead gorgeous. I wink. <laughs> Did you say that to the elf? <laughs> I, I say that to the elf, but I wink at the uh, the uh, uh, the fire giant. He he blushes again. <laughs> Man, is it just me or is it getting hot in here? <clears throat> out here, I guess. Just out there, a bunch of little cuties is all. Uh, Akatsu says. <laughs> No, Anyone that was. What's particularly cuter than the other? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck <sake. clears throat> No, that was not what you were meant to be looking out for. <laughs> Look at the way they're dressed. 
Is there anything strange about how these two have dressed compared to uh, their friends here? You know Satoshi is on the other side of the walls, by the way, and is inside the city. Of the town, sorry. Satoshi didn't come back out. Um, is it because we're, like, our fashion? Do you not like fashion? Is that what I'm hearing? <clears throat> I mean, I'm wearing things from the shrine. Mm -hmm. She just kind of pats down her dress. <laughs> yeah. I'm... Are you making fun of my hairline right now? I know I'm bald in but... Well, I mean that. We'll we'll we'll, we'll get to we'll get to uh, we'll get, get to, to my you. balding. Is that what you said? <clears throat> no, your your appearance in a second. But first, mm. yes, you can be from the shrine. You're, you, you, it's perfectly fine to be a shrine maiden and dress the way you do. But when you are dressed as inmates of Kasakawa Prison, and we're on the lookout for Kasakawa prisoners. Holly would like to, <clears throat> to to cut into this sentence. Oh, sir, no, no, they're not. Kasakawa prisoners there we have an explanation for this I'm so sorry I should have thought of this before before we crossed over um so you know I was telling um Akutse that uh they were protecting us in the woods well we sort of had a horrible accident and uh their clothes sort of uh their clothes sort of and I lean real close and I'm like they kind of got burnt to pieces. There and was so a lot of fire. There was a lot of fire, and um, they they protected us from it, but they they got real burned, like their clothes. So they had to sort of just wear whatever was around, because you know it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be appropriate to go walking around um, the way they were. And I know it wasn't. I know it wasn't like the best option and i'm really so sorry um but it they they had to we found a lot of washed up crates uh, there's they it, seem to be from the prison but we didn't have any other choice i don't None know of if my you clothes guys... would have fit them you see they couldn't have covered <laughs> we're a little too small um i don't know if you guys want the locations of those crates or or anything um there seems to be quite a, lot a few. Of damage. As you say that, you begin to hear the bushes around you rustle from across the other side of the bridge. Uh, the bushes <laughs> and the trees, um. as they begin to start creaking and cracking. Uh, creaking. what's that? Uh, I thought the river was the only thing creaking. You know. No, that was a horrible one. joke. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear that's the only one I have. The very distinct shrieking of Yokai. Oh, freaking oh freaking. no. I'm freaking right now. Coming from the other side of the bridge as running down the incline are a band of Oni. With a lot of Oni. Oh no! Is it the Beatles or is it like ACDC? Yeah, like <laughs> the bridge is stone, right? Mm -hmm. Can I Rock cast Hampton Wall of Fire across this bridge? You can. As they start running down, <clears throat> and you can hear more things coming running down. <clears throat> How long is your Wall of Fire? I'm. It can be sixty feet long, but I'm well, not going to do it that long. Nice. Um, the fire to the bridge. Watch it burn. Watch it burn as, burn as, as it touch your I, ridge. Do like. Huh? Oh, I would like love this, to see a stretch of this fire. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Excellent. Oh, Thanks, guys. Look at, <laughs> Look at how good that is. Beautiful. <laughs> No, no, no. I no. love no, that no, no. revolution. <laughs> you have to take it away. No. You made it. Fine. Fine. You're a coward. <laughs> Come on, man. It's 20 feet high. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. <laughs> Woo! That. That's beautiful. So you guys, you guys happy? Yeah, you baby. Guys like, you guys like that? So happy. I love yeah. it. That's gorgeous. I'm happy. That Woo! is. <clears throat> it's on fire. Excellent. Looks actually like it's like uh, like perspective wise pretty accurate. <laughs> We're all about accuracy here. Yeah, you can hear them. Like it looks like it's three D. And that's like you instinctively just got to. Uh, how do you wave? Uh, how do you summon your use your Shiseki stone? 
a long um, time. She'll probably just like take a step forward and like pull the Shiseki stone out of her pocket. Um, and I guess she'll like reach out and like swipe it across the floor in front of her where she wants it to be. Mm -hmm. um, and her bells will jingle a bit. Yeah, as you as you do that and just swiping at the ground, this wall of fire erupts in this line you've drawn, and the fire genasi like um, that's being charmed by Rocky right now uh, jumps back as like this roar of fire rushes upwards. Uh, so I'm going to change the music because this is too chill for what's happening right now. <coughs> Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you... You see, um... Shabbat come charging down as well. And... Akatsu, um, pulls the Naginata in front of them, preparing themselves to, uh, to fight back. And the guards turn their attention away from Rocky and Randall and then prepare to defend the city. Satoshi, not in sight anymore. As the guards on the wall also uh, pull out long bows, ready to fight. Lo, you being the first to react, the initiative's going to start on you, but we're going to take a break before we get into it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, we'll be back in All five right. to ten minutes. Um... But while we wait, you can check out some of the cool things we do. You can join the Discord. You can check out some of the art of the characters over on my Instagram and my Twitter there. Or, that's not the command. <laughs> or you can uh, check out some of the projects that everyone works on. Um, I'll put those in chat in a second. Um, that's not how the link. And um, did you put yours on your... Uh, uh, Jake, uh, sorry, Piper. Did you put um, the Goblin King stuff in yours yet? Um, it should be on my, my my LinkedIn, but I, I or not my LinkedIn, yeah. the world, <laughs> my link tree. <laughs> but I also uh, I also have the link to the site that I can also just put in chat. Yes, yeah, perfect. But yeah, we'll be right back in about five ten minutes. If you're enjoying the uh, session, uh, glad uh, glad you're enjoying the session. Uh, you still have a chance to vote on uh, if the party are going to be able to get through into the city. Um, and you have uh, your ability, able to use channel points to help or hinder the party in any way that is you done through channel points. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back in five, ten minutes. Have a quick walk around the house, maybe have a drink. We'll see you guys in a hot second. But yeah, if I quickly do this. But yeah. Bye, guys. We'll see you in yeah, a hot second. Bye. Uh, Are you back?
need to get on stocks of cars. When you ride up against the wall and you cannot find us a car, go on. Bonsoir. Howdy. Howdy. Alright. Initiative. Lo, you starting? Oui. Oui. Okay. <laughs> How are these nuts? Um, does that count as like my nope. action? No. Nope. Oh. Unless you're reacting. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did not think about what I should do. Um... <laughs> I have made a wall and now I don't know what to do. Um, <laughs> can I cast a spell through the wall? You can. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I I'm gonna cast a, a fire bolt. Go ahead. Uh, that should reach right. Uh, yes, yeah, 120 feet. Sorry, no, sorry. This one, because it's the one I can see the best. Mm -hmm, 18 hits. Oh, 26 hits. Yeah, go on. Roll damage. Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay. Oh, no, I didn't want to press that one. <laughs> That's alright. 10 fire damage. As as it like pushes through the fire. As you, how you cast it, uh, uh, fireball. Hello, Nico. So you holding uh, Shiseki's on in hand? Um, yeah, she's probably still holding it. Um, and then she will um, kind of point a finger towards the Oni as best she can, and like her bells will jingle. Mm. Um. Yeah, as they're jingling, they, um, <clears throat> the firewall has a hole rip open on itself and your fireball flies through casting off your shiseki stone as how many charges do you have left on it uh it's just it just has one right yep then it's gone that as it like as that fireball blasts off the shiseki uh pours off the shiseki stone, it dulls in color and the ripples fade and the fireball flies towards the oni crashing straight into its face and all its eyes follow it as it just starts jittering and shrieking as the fireball hits it anything else you want to do on your turn i will give a bardic inspiration um i will give it to rocky <laughs> all righty <laughs> and then i will has the turn to I don't know, does... do you want to go next rookie <laughs> uh sure yeah i'll go next okay yeah. uh run up towards the firewall oh wow good lord there's so many um so anybody got like a more coming down <laughs> Honestly, oh, good Lord, there has to be a better solution to just because there's not going to be a chance of us all just killing every single one of these. Um, okay, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna just use my hold of blast. Cause what else do I do, you know? Uh, start with my elder blast. <laughs> all right, mm -hmm. upsetting. I it is. <laughs> Do I don't even know if it would have landed. One second. How, oh yeah, 120 feet. Okay. Well, it did it. It got a nine. Does that? Mm -hmm. You want to describe what it would look like when you go to cast it, though? I um, 
Kind of like hold out my gun in the, uh, or hold out my hand in the shape of like I'm holding a gun, getting ready and kind of like focusing on it as if I'm about to like conjure a blaster, you know, um, or like a, a pistol out of my, my a spectral pistol. Uh, the colors start like taking shape around it. They start forming a little bit uh, to build up this uh, this pistol, and then I shoot it. <laughs> as one hand in my pocket and the other hand facing forward. As you fire it, Polly, you see the tiefling beside you. She winces for a second. <clears throat> As if she just had this immense pain wash over her. And Lo, you see the fire genasi. Kind of, you hear an audible gasp as they look at Rocky casting uh, and firing with the Eldritch Cannon. However, it doesn't go past the firewall. And as soon as it hits the firewall, it just breaks off and causes the firewall to erupt outwards. And you see the world weave through the fire, where like the beams of light from the um, from where the eldritch blast makes impact, and it looks like to those that don't know, um, uh, partly specifically, you haven't seen it. It's kind of like this void that like has like black, gray, green, and uh, blue pixels floating about every now and then, and white pixels as well, and just this string of spider webs that like come out as if like it's on a 3D plane. And it just causes the tiefling to wince and the fire genasi just like, has like just panic and shock on their face as they see this happen. Anything else, Rocky, you wanna do on your turn? Uh, I wanna turn, there's not really much I can do because I can't like swing my sword at these guys. Um, I turn to the tiefling uh, behind me and I say, "You gotta call for backup. You, that is just you have you have other people that can come charge and come like man the walls and shoot arrows down at them or something." There wouldn't be enough of us. They should There's not enough of you. Like y'all don't have backup soldiers or anything like that. We're all on guard right now. Those all are all single one? All not all of us, but the ones that have gone on shift or got. Who have just gone? Y'all don't have like a whole army or anything like that. No, we're just a town. Shoot. Um. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. It's so dumb. Why y'all? Oh, not y'all. Just the freaking these guys. These little imbeciles. Uh. <laughs> these I hoops. want to. <laughs> I don't know. Uh. I'm just, there's nothing else I can do. I can't take my second attack because I, all I can do is weapons, like fight with my sword. So I guess I am going to pass my turn over. I'm going to pass it to these people on the wall. Or can I see them? Yeah, you can see the ones on the wall. As they, like, got long, do they have long arrows? Yeah, do they've, they have... they've got their long bows ready. I'm going to go ahead and give it to them. I turn to them. All right. Yeah, they just load their longbows. Oh, I didn't mean to click that button. And then they prepare to start shooting. And this one comes rushing over as well. And there's just a volley of arrows fly over the firewall towards the only that lone Nico shot at. As they all focus on that one. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. There you go. That sounds about right. As you see these two arrows that like pierce through the arc over the fire and their tips get caught and as they just plunge into the sides of this one only you see its arms drop for a second as a, and a heavy thud as its iron club hits the ground. And then it goes to glitch and jitter again in just as it shrieks out to the sky. And you can hear over that just like very muffled and like echoey or not echoey, but um, it's being like drowned out by the shriek of the yokai. The elf behind. I'm going to call for backup. I'm going to call for uh, Hiro, uh, Hiro Michia to come over. She'll know what to do. I thought you said there was no backup. What? What is this? More bows would be great. Yeah, call more people. <clears throat> this isn't backup. She... This isn't backup. What she's is she isn't backup. She's just 
she just usually isn't on the front lines as they you hear panicky voices from all of them as do you, you... all have bows yes do you have any spare do you have any spare bows as they shout up at the wall what about um polly's mother's shop you know that's on the far side of the village <sighs> Shoot, Dratton, darn it. It would take far too long. As you ask for extra bows, they do toss over one longbow. Oh, I wasn't asking for me, but... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not really a weapon fighter, but thanks. <laughs> where, where was that toss to? Just, uh, just out of the gate here. Just right there? Okay, As no. you can hear an alarm going off off in the distance to the north. Uh-oh. I think there's trouble. <laughs> you hear them all just shout. And no shit! And more panicked. Throw down some arrows too. The a bow is useless on its own. You, they they, they just cast like a whole quiver. And... Does this bridge get lifted up? Like, is it an actual, like... No! As a... The three on the bridge, I love their longbows as well. Oh, whoa, that one danced. Yeah, I saw it was it was skirting around that one. Do you have bombs? Any bombs or like grenades or explosives of any sorts? Not on us. Maybe a cannon? I don't know. Could I? Um... I don't think we have a cannon. <laughs> I don't think we have um, walls aren't very well manned. I'm seeing that. Do you have anyone at the north gate? <laughs> yeah, we, we, there should be someone situated everywhere. You're That's gone. why we're so thinly spread. We're only a town. This wasn't meant to happen. As um, the tiefling and Akatsui, uh, Akatsu, um, end up firing their longbows, but the elf that like was having the facade, or a more uh, br more bravado when uh, interrogating you, or oh, stopping you, Rocky and Randall. They kind that drops, and like they're the most panicked in the situation, and they are they miss as well. They're shot, and they're gonna pass their turn. To Randall. Okay, I'm gonna seeing that bow and quiver like drop. I'm gonna pick that up. And I do not have that on my sheet, but yeah, I'm, Let's drag I'm gonna... I'll drag it over for you now. All good. Yeah, if you want to describe what you want to do, I'll console that quickly. I'm just gonna like quickly, like pretty much jump over Polly <laughs> and just grab it, p pivot immediately, jump back over, <laughs> leapfrogging. Polly's like Five. ducking, <laughs> hands over her head. Roll me a. Five. D20. Okay. Just a flat D20? Yeah. Just an 11. You pick up 11 arrows. Okay. I got 11 shots, people. And I am gonna fire. Uh, just at, like, this one right here. And then, uh, so if I shoot it through the fire, can I get it to somehow catch fire and yeah. apply, like, fire damage? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's hope this hits. 19? 19 hits. Fucking A, let's go, baby. That. 21 damage. Oh, wait, shit. That's sneak attack, so 2011. Yeah, only, well, only, I think, the 10. Is that, or which... It's the 11. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll take that, yeah. And same only that everyone's aiming at? Uh, the, the, oh, this one right right yeah. here. Because this is like the best shot one that I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one is looking worse and worse. It's just trying to... As it like kind of drops to the ground, it starts crawling. Anything else, Randall? That will be my turn. Where's the sneak attack? Oh, there's it. Okay. Turned off. 
All right, and I will pass my turn. Sorry, who has not gone yet? Polly and uh, the yokai. Yeah. Then I will pass it to the yokai. So we don't get double mm -hmm. whammy. Uh, Polly, with your, with your infusions, I'll allow you to be able to do your infusions now. Uh, but yeah, normally you do it during a long rest. Okay. Yeah, the yokai, they're crawling. This one on the ground is going to start crawling across the bridge. Towards crawling! The my bridge. What was that? Um, um... Is it taking damage? When it ends its turn within 10 feet of that side of the wall, and when it enters the wall... Got a raid. For the first time. We got a raid? Oh. Or is it turn then? Oh, fucking hell. Yep. Oh, thank you guys for the raid. Thank you, Dutch Dungeon. Welcome to the vibe-in. We're just... Thank uh, you, Bud Spot. <laughs> what did What's Bud Spot say? Bud said, thank you, uh, Mama, Mama. Uh, <laughs> bitter ball butt raid. <laughs> And Vinny for the follows. Um, we are just the party of fighting only at uh, city gates as two um, escapees from a prison, a local prison, are also, um, which are two of the players, are being hassled and being stopped from entering. And now they're stuck between a rock and a hard place as only are charging the city walls. As the only come climbing and clamoring to the uh, to the firewall the yokai and we on like the... our balls bitter sorry that's just like a <laughs> oh your friends of the podcast nice hello neat um yeah with and as like that's happening you can hear as the alarms going off in the distance you can hear the sound of just a volley of arrows being fired. You, those of you, Rocky and uh, Randall might be more aware uh, of the sound of 24 arrows being launched off, uh, off the walls further away as the other side are defending themselves. Clearly a lot better than the, this gate is. As these yokai come running, the Shabbaton come charging around, the ones with slings are going to try to fire through the firewalls at low Nico. When I find these guys have ended their turn though, right? Yeah, they've ended their turn there. Okay, so I'm gonna roll there. Go ahead. They must make a dex. Actually, no, they didn't. They just take the five d eight. Five d eight. Perfect. What's Lonico's AC? Oh, fucking hell. Woo! What's Lonico's AC? It is... 18, baby! <laughs> nice. You are safe. As, like, these rocks just fly over the fire. And, like, they turn, they, like, catch a bit of fire. And these they just start sparking cinders as they hit the ground around you. The one that misses thunks the yokai in the back of the head. And as it hits the yokai in the back of the head, you see its eyes wince. As it gets pushed into the fire and erupts into white flames as it tries to climb through, trying to grab at you, Lonico. Guys, I don't know how much difference it makes, but that one can be changed to a two because of my feet. So it's 24 damage. That'll do. Make a note. Yeah. And the other yokai... Oh, there's another Oni, I forgot. He's just vibing. He doesn't need to go anywhere. He's coming <laughs> as well. He's he, he pushes aside the one that dies and starts climbing <clears throat> as well. And the other yokai just getting ready to, like, get in. And then I'll pass the turn to you, Polly. Okay, perfect. So, uh, you said... Uh, that I can do an, an infusion? You can. I'll allow you to infuse. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Polly's going to rush over to Randall. Randall, 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 Randall. Give me, give, give me, give me. And she like motions to give the, the bow to her. I just got this thing. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm trying to help. And she's like grabbing on. I, I'd like to imagine she's like grabbing onto it and, mm -hmm. and her feet are just like barely touching the ground because Randall's trying to like hold it away. 
All right, take it, take it. You're going to bend it. <laughs> so she takes it, and Polly would like to cast, uh, or infuse it with repeating shot, mm -hmm. um, which will, if there's no ammunition, will allow it to produce its own. Uh, what do I need to do about that? <laughs> now you have a glittery arrow every time you use the bow, Randall, and it becomes a plus one longbow in this situation. Beautiful. So just remember that for me, because I'll forget. <laughs> Perfect. I'll, I'll, I will remember that. <laughs> but that's only for the situ only for like the till. How long does it last? Uh. I think it lasts until you like. Until you forever. end it, yeah. Because you can only so, like, do one at a like time, forever. right? You have yeah, a. It's... If Polly lets you have it, you have a <laughs> repeating shot at longbow then. <laughs> Perfect. Take the take that. It'll it'll keep shooting. Don't ask questions. Just do it. All right. Amazing. Um, Thank you. No problem. It's fine. Polly's like sweating buckets. Um, and I suppose that's my main action. So I don't know if there's even anything else I can do. Um. Yeah, I don't think there is any other helpful thing I can do right now. No Everyone... So Polly's just going to like give give Randall a pat on the back and be like, you got it, buddy. You might want to step away a bit. <laughs> and Polly will step away. Because <laughs> all of those boys are coming. <laughs> just had a feeling that she should do that. <laughs> If you just a feeling. could all roll perception for me. No, okay, like I, I'm fine oh. with it. Oh shit. Wow. I'm fine Ooh. with it, but like can I get that on a damn like attack? Yeah. Why now? <laughs> well You guys with your eyes are able to see a few things happen. <laughs> Polly and Rocky and like all these are like looking as you're like trying to fight off the yokai and keeping an eye on them crossing the bridge you can hear rustling in the trees and the trees shaking aggressively as you can see Juro climbing out of them Thank and climbing you. over them these trees the oh, which the trees, trees are you the, the trees about, the, man, you're scared okay. <laughs> the trees at the oh, other side right. Those Lorac, trees, I don't care about those trees. If it was this That's tree, fine. I'd be scared shitless. <laughs> yeah, but they those are trees... making their way, and they look like they're trying to leap across. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Alright, it's time to start throwing some torches at the trees, people. Let me at them. Let me at them. Alright, let me at them. Polly and okay. Randall, you see on the biggest tree in the back, something peek its head through the tree branches. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, oh come on. on! What's going mm. on, guys? I, I don't know what that head. thing is. As you see a brood mother peek its head through the tree branches. Yeah, I've uh, like got bad mother. memories with these things. Oh, okay, and it's splitting already. Okay, lovely. No, no, that was, that was, that was because I got <laughs> uh, the token as it climbs over the trees. But you can hear something in the distance. Um, running through the trees on feet. More. What the fuck? And Randall and Polly, you just hear a swishing of a sword. <laughs> Piper's happy. Rocky doesn't know what's happening. <laughs> Polly, it is you end the round ended on you. Would you like to go again, or would you like to pass it to someone else? I'm gonna pass it back up to Low. All right, Lo, you are starting the round. Cool. How's everyone's health right now, by the way? Because I don't know right. if I can. Mm. Not doing great, but we start okay. like that. <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> Bit of a love slap. <laughs> it's just a gentle pat. <laughs> it's fine. There's only got Pat here on the back. 
you get 10 you get this warm feeling fill you up gifting you uh, 10 healing um, you. you're welcome and then I'm gonna give you a bardic inspiration as well we talking we talking isn't All right great. It, it will. It is for us, so it's okay. Okay. And you've been granted a bardic inspiration as well. Thank you. As Lonely Cliff cool. music inspires you, fills you. I am going to, but because because the spell is cast using the Shiseki Stone and it's mm. concentration, it still counts as concentration for me, right? I yes. still have to concentrate on it. Yeah, just making sure. Uh, 10, 15. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, vibe back here. <laughs> um, that will be the end of my turn. I'm going to give it to Randall. Okay. How tall is this archway? That is 30 feet up. Okay. Sorry, 20 feet up, sorry. That's like more doable, maybe. Can I can I attempt to climb climb it up? Yeah. Climb up it. Climb, climb it up. You want like a climb it up? Do you want either uh, like acrobatics or acrobatics athletics, or athletics please? Okay. Alley oop. Yeah, you uh, you, just, you just start clambering and swirling around like a lizard. Um, that just just digging your claws in and pulling yourself, throwing yourself up, and reaching the top. Leaving uh, scratch marks into this beautiful carved toy <laughs> gate. Scratching it's out gonna, the dragons. probably going to have a lot more damage in a hot second. It's okay. Uh, and b before I went up, I would also like to say to the guard beside me, you're probably going to want to back up and get yourself to more cover, man. They're going to be crawling through that fire any second. And then I'm going to take <laughs> my shot. Just hyperventilate. <laughs> I take my shot on the blue one. Nineteen. Nineteen hits. Okay, and then that would have been a, a twenty, and then that's an eight damage. Mhm. Mm You're a star. Perfect. It's and eye. You can see through the roll. fire. It's eye dark to you. You and to wait. So you can't. You can add bardic inspiration to damage, or is you that have only to, to. You have to do it to the. Um, to the to the attack, attack roll. roll. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Uh. I will then uh, turn to Rocky and say, they're going to start coming through, man. You know what to do, slice and dice. Giving you advantage. All right, I got a lot of, got a lot of advantage. You've got all the things. Right now. <laughs> uh, hard to slice and dice through the fire, but I'm prepared. Slice and dice, ambush. Am I good to start? Am I, is, mm -hmm. Who did you pass it to? Did you pass it to I'm me? Better, I don't yeah, know. I'll pass it to you then, yeah. Maybe Thank you, guys, me, and uh, Jovial for follow. Okay, so I'm thinking, if I cast Eldritch Blast, do I do it with advantage if I do it? Yep. Okay. A blammo. Okay, 22. Right. I'm going for this 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 red one right here, mm -hmm. by the way. To clarify. Uh, I, I go, I reach my hand out in the shape of a gun again. It becomes like more of like a, a midnight, uh, dark blue color kind of contrast the bright fire. Mm -hmm. Um as I, I, I look through the flames kind of flickering in front of me and I, I peek through and see uh, the creature uh, kind of emerging outside of it or on the other side of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and shoot. That is 13 damage, I guess. 13? Uh, yeah, 13. Yeah. Um, and... I don't. I, my sword's not going to do much help right now, but I'll keep it ready. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, take out my long, my longbow. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, hold on. Something I need to check real quick. Could you put firewall in shelf for me, George? Oh, never mind. It's already there. Okay. Um. So uh, my gunner proficiency mm -hmm. says I don't have any uh, disadvantage for close range. Is that only I don't. I don't do that anyway. So. Okay. Well, you, you're allowed to use it like point like range with a long okay, well, I, I, don't, I don't like that. Shoot my longbow. I'm going to shoot it though towards uh, the spider creature up here. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I didn't mean to have advantage, but I got a nat 20. Nat right 20. Roll damage. Good lord, man. 
Let's go. That's 13. 13. As you see this one preparing to climb, to leap over, you see some of the other little tiny Jura spawn that are hatching on these egg sacs underneath it. Climb onto its back. And as they climb to back onto its back, your arrow just skims and cleaves um, into the back of the Juro and pierces through two of those spawn that try to climb onto its back. And you just see white fire erupt off the back of the Juro and it, you just hear its seat turn to you with acid dripping out of its mouth and just snarls and drools causing the leaves underneath it to just singe and burn as it just stares at you with pure malice. Um. Okay, I think Pretty that's hard. all I, I'm gonna do because I don't have. I can't use my bonus action. Um, because I don't. I'm not using my swords. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I will. So who, who who's all gone? Randall and Polly, or, or only Randall? Uh, Randall, oh, no, Polly, Randall, Randall and Law have gone. Yeah, Polly hasn't gone yet. Okay. Okay, I am going to. Once again, pass it to the archers up top. Mm -hmm. Did you say the tree was on fire? No, no, the tree is like ah. have, is being like singed by the acid dripping from the yokai. Ah. They're gonna keep firing with the oni uh, that are trying to break through, aiming at the one that looks to uh, the blue one specifically. Mm -hmm. So there's gonna be a volley of six arrows. One more. Dang. Only two hit, and that being the Tiefling and the uh, Akat Akatsu uh, on level with you guys. The others are kind of just like shitting bricks right now. And you see the uh, load, the elf behind you is just shaking. And you just see them just swirl into a spiral of fire as they misty step up onto the top of the wall. In pan. Also, um, are these two spawns of the spider creature, are these the ones that turn into white fire? No, 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 those two other ones that just climbed onto his back. Okay. Those are just different spawns. Gotcha. Yeah. And the guard that, like, you guys told to get back, Akatsu, was going to get back, and is kind of going to, like, stand in front of Lo to protect her. But then also shouts, Mr. Oktoberfest, you should step back too. Mm, I, can I? It's not my turn. No, it's not your turn. I mean, like, for dramatic yeah. effect. Okay. And they, <laughs> they're going to pass it to, to Polly. Aye, aye, partner. <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to... Hmm. Okay. Uh, Polly is... Well, how long is that? Hmm. Okay, Polly's going to get a little bit closer if she can click the right thing. <laughs> um... And she's going to go right here so that she's within range. And she is going to cast Thunder Wave. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe. Yes. And that Ooh, should... You're not in range. <laughs> no! <laughs> thunder, a thunder Wave would be... It's like the square around you. That's, so it'd be this. Shoot, darn it. So you'd have to be. I don't want to get any closer yeah. than that. Um. Oh, Paul, what the hell is Polly gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, puzzle. Um. Oh wait, what about? Uh... No color spray would be the same thing, I think. No, then color spray. If you put color spray in chat, I, we can see that. 
It's a cone, so it goes in oh. front of you. Oh, in front, yeah. So, it. Oh shit! I didn't mean to put you in the fire just then. So it'd go in like. <laughs> so you you'd be able to get. Yeah, you'd be able to get. You'd be able to get all of them. All right, let's do that. Polly's gonna crack all of her knuckles at the same time, and um, put out her hand to do uh, color spray on these bad boys over here. Yeah, poop, dumb, and stupid. Those are their uh, government names. Uh, I need to roll. Where my sheet go? Get over here. What does this spell do? <laughs> I'm reading it, I can't understand what... Ah. I see. So if you want to roll me 6d10, please. Yes, sir. Sorry, I just found it. No, you're good. I was reading as well. I couldn't find what the spell actually did. I think I did it correctly. That is correct, 37. Okay. Hmm. Uh... And I don't think it's like at all, eight, isn't it? Yeah, so it only is able to affect one of the Oni. Okay. Um, so You're going to pick hmm. it's either the blue or the orange. I mean, the blue or the red, sorry. Uh, I'll let you pick. Who, Guys, who was, who's, who has the most damage? Do we know? Dom, Dom is the most damage. Okay, um, <laughs> we'll go for um, maybe someone with less damage then, just to try to even the, or, mm, no, uh, dumb, dumb, we're gonna get dumb. <laughs> we're getting dumb. You see Dom's eyes close <laughs> as like the, as like your silver glitter sprays out from in front of you, catching on fire, washing over Dom, you see, all this dust clog into the eyes of the yokai and he starts trying to swat it out of its face trying to like also claw at the fire as well with his arms as it's uh, just trying to drag the fire uh, the, the fiery glitter out of its eyes and it is now blinded uh, my fingers are holding up <laughs> <laughs> the only aren't resistant to fire are they they are not uh, like, I already well, away. It's too late now. <laughs> well, if they were, it wouldn't matter because yeah. my spells are more resistance. Oh, yeah. Can I move back damage. again? What was that? Can I move back again? Yeah, you haven't moved all your feet. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move back again. And uh, I'm gonna pass my turn to... You don't get to because the yokai are the last to go. Oh, shoot. Dr oh, darn it. Okay. Up. Okay. <laughs> um, good luck, everybody. <laughs> So, we're going to start with the juror, as they begin to start leaping over. Rock. Rocky's just here at the front lines, <laughs> watching this happen right now. He always almost dies, so it's fine. Here we are. They're leaping over. This one, having been shot by Rocky, mm -hmm. draws his attention to Rocky mm -hmm. and leaps onto the Tory gate. Uh, hey, and buddy. you see How's the acid going? drift down. Does he leap over 20 feet? <laughs> Get out of town, He does. Dude. Like, the wall is 20 foot high. Does he go over the top of it? Yeah, does he like pass nice through it? He does pass through it. He does just scrape it. it. So if you can roll the damage, he does just scrape it. Rocky's staring at it directly up. Like, These oh, draw would have climbed onto its back as well, so... I would argue they get caught as well in this. It's 21. 21. <laughs> I don't get out of here. That one, that one's on his bum. The two juror that like, like as it drops onto the, uh, the target, you see it covered in fire, but then it snarled and hisses at you and just shrieks right in your face, Randall. Very excitedly. But the two juror that are on its back fall off caught into the fire and drop in front of you, Rocky, and just explode. Take that! While these two leap onto this tree over here. Okay. And you hear the brood mother clambering through the trees and leaps over to this tree over here. 
and the only about dark forest fires. <laughs> and the only are gonna now try to clamber through the uh, the firewall, pushing okay, through. Do you want take... me to roll again? Or yes, please. Just... Yeah. This is why Raph is burning the forest down, people. <laughs> Like now I have a canon reason. There's nothing good here. The ecosystem is shit. As I push through the fire, covered in it. Oh, that wasn't gonna happen. This one blinded, but these two are gonna try to swing at you, Rocky. As they come towering over you. Uh... It's dumb and stupid are attacking you. No. Okay. What's Poop doing? He's blinded, I think. That blinded. one's blinded, so I'm gonna give that a disadvantage as they're gonna swing at you as well. Where, where is this? Where wow! Are what are these numbers? My AC is actually 30, so I can't get hit. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> oh! Wait, how's it? Give me a second. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be dead, dude. Am you guys I got ballistas here? What are we doing? That. That's Rocky's on twenty three hit points left. Wait, wait, wait! Did I not take all? Uh, you are uh, uh, fifty two damage. I'm at three hit points. You are on three hit points. Oh my! What? <laughs> Only. Are just swinging wildly as they push through the fire. Get out of there, man! <laughs> Rocky's Shib stunned, like it cannot. <laughs> the Shiban, however, are panicky. They won't cross the bridge as they see the fire. You mean the devil children? Yeah, the little devil <laughs> children. They're, they're panicking <laughs> because they won't cross the fire. Ow. Rocky, Polly, Randall, roll perception. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah, me. I can see all this You can't happening. see we're in the... We're Matt, in 20. Yay, I'm glad I used that now. Are you shitting me? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if anyone wants, like, an 18 to be their roll at any point, tell me. I've got one gift of sight roll left. Yeah, can I yeah. actually uh, take the 18 now for my Nat 20? To change it out. <laughs> I will, you, I will you, have to, you have to tell me before you roll. Oh, oh shoot, my bad. <laughs> oh, well, fuck. Well, Polly and Randall, you don't see nothing. You're too terrified and scared. But Randall, I got my eyes closed. Rocky, you? How is Rocky not terrified and scared right now? You're panicking. <laughs> but like, he's just laughing. You hear your mother's words just echoing in your ears, telling you to stay, hold your head up and stay strong. As you hear smell a faint Departed. hint of ginger. Of, I mean, not ginger, sorry. Jasmine. Over, and oh. over the lavender and oranges. And you see a shadow leap from behind some of the devil children. And you hear a slash <laughs> of their sword. Go ahead. Go ahead. Me Melon Man, is that you? <laughs> uh... Dude, if it is, that's MVP. <laughs> I'm staring at... I am, like, surrounded by the worst people right now, and I'm terrified because they get to go again, and the, they just... No, oh, they knocked me down at 3 HP in one go. Right, I'm going to... Roll... a D2 uh, for me, Rocky. Okay, sure. <laughs> Roll it, roll this this, all, this will change too. fate. Will you live or die? <laughs> On how do I slash R space right. D two? Oops, that's why. Cause I put slash two. You know what? Okay, there okay. we go. Got two. <laughs> it is. You see the silhouette of the Suica Abake leap out of the shadows oh. and slash at the Devil Children. Brother, I might <laughs> cry. <laughs> like, I might actually be emotional with that. <laughs> oh my god. We're dying here. <laughs> he came to save us. 
cleaving one of the devil children with just a flat slash. And as it goes, I'm gonna have to move your letters out of the way. I'm sorry. Uh, just, oh, <laughs> just got rid of all of them. I'm gonna have to get rid of the child. Okay, as I step forward, cleaving one in half, slicing it into, and you just hear through muffling and muffled and Lucy, I don't hear you screaming right now. <laughs> <laughs> You hear, you see- I'm screaming on the inside. Yeah. You hear muffled. <laughs> the muffled voice, uh, un like, of, through distortion and glitching of the, um, of the Suiko Bake's voice through the slash. Dishonor to you, it says. Dishonor. As it goes to slash of the second one, not cleaving in half, but then butts it in the head with its giant watermelon head. And it bops it into the ground. And it just you see it flatten. And it points his sword to the Oni at the right in front of you, Rocky. Oop. Duel me. It shouts across the bridge at the Oni. I love this guy and his love for bridges so much. <laughs> He really do love bridges. He do be loving bridges, man. He do be protecting the bridges. It oh. fails. Oh. And the only I'm turns in. his body around and looks at the sweet Obake. And you can just see this intense duel, uh, intense stare between both of them. Yeah, go back through the fire. <laughs> you know you want to. <clears throat> But yeah, and now, um, let's give me a second. As it is now, the yokai's turns again. Mm -hmm. And they're just going to start swinging wildly as they try to attack at you, Polly, and the fire genasi as they try to bully their way in. Great. So this is no, no. on you, Polly. And this is on the fire genasi guard. 14 hit Polly. Uh, um, AC is 16, so no. Sixteen, yeah, you're safe. You I was just like kind of step out of the way, or you you just duck, completely missing. It's 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 swinging wildly. It's got it's covered its eyes in glitter. Well, you've covered its eyes in glitter, and you just see this Kamainu statue explode as um as it completely misses you. And it when it swings its uh, club, it thwacks into the Tory gate, causing it to start to shake. Sorry, these are dead. I also forgot to put those over here. Yeah, uh, the Tory gate starts shaking. Could I get you to roll me a uh, deck save, Randall? Yeah, you can. 19. You are able to perf keep yourself balanced and stay on tough, safe, uh, and hold, well, not safe, but as safe as you can be with the drawer in front of you as the Tory gate is shaking and wobbling. Um. The guard, however, isn't able to block its attack, and Akatsui just crumples under the sheer force of the club, and you just see the limp Janasi body get flung by the swing. Jesus. Are they dead or are they okay? <laughs> they oh, no, yeah, they are. Uh... To the ground. Oh. Uh-oh. Now it's the Juro's turn. As they begin to start climbing up the walls towards the guards up there. And the these yokai are going to try to attack Suika. So they're going to, two are going to use their clubs. 
two are going to shoot. The two of the clubs swing wildly at, at the yokai. And the ones with the slings just like shoot just randomly, uh, hoping that it'll hit, but panicked as as this Suikobaki has just come out of nowhere and just cleaved two of uh, their friends in half and crushed one into the ground like a tin can. Dealing just 12 damage. The only that has been compelled to duel by the Suikobaki makes its way across the bridge, giving you attack of opportunity, Randall. Me, Rocky. Okay. Um, can I use my... You said which one was it? Stupid or poop. dumb? Poop. poop, poop. Okay, uh, so I can just swing my sword at it. Mm -hmm. I'll do. Cha. The thirteen hit. Thirteen, 13 misses, sadly. <laughs> can you I do my uh, my bardic? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does that? Uh, what's the bardic again? It's, Is it D six? Um... It's a D six. Add a D six. Okay. So then I'll just do it this way. And uh, hey, six, that's that's nineteen fun. to hit. Perfect. Roll damage. And then it's plus six uh, thunder damage. Plus six thunder damage? So mm -hmm. it, so it's I think they have to do 17? a con save. Do we have to let's see? Let's give them a con save then. They succeed, so they only take 11 damage. So, yeah. Yeah, like this surge of thunder washes out as you see like this thundery fox leap off your sword and just erupt giving your blade just a extra push as it cleaves into the back of the yokai and you see its eyes turn and you see its body tr like its legs start to stagger for a bit as it tries to pull itself back wanting to turn around to fight you but it keeps going is this only within five feet of it this one is yeah was it yeah because it's that and each oh, creature within five feet of it gotcha that one fails that one takes six damage that one lurches forward as it like hits the ground um, from the force of the thunder wave that's uh, exploded from the uh, the kitsune. Anything else, uh, Rocky? Oh wait, that's the yokai's turn. So yeah, they're gonna end their turn with the juror, uh, broodmother making its way even closer. And how is the how is the 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 how's it looking? What's looking? The thing I just hit. The or is it, oh no, it died. No, no, it made its way across oh. the bridge. It I, entered the I wall again. I spaced out for like a solid thing, right? it did. second, so I just kind of... Okay. Uh, if you want to roll the firewall damage for me, uh, Lonico. As it crosses through Damn. the fire towards uh, the Suikobake, and is holding itself, trying to keep... Uh, trying to fight you, Rocky. It just holds too long. And in that time, it just catches and just erupts into a white fire as it's been eaten by this fox fire as well, swirling and surging around it. <clears throat> it is now going to pass its turn to low. So you low your sign the round. Okay. Um, how far up the wall are the Juro? The wall is. 50 are they feet more up. than? They are thirty feet. This, are they more than? Okay, they're more than fifteen feet away from me. Um, <laughs> the wall. What's the wall made out of again? Is stone. It stone. Was it all stone? Yeah, all stone. We're okay. getting literally stonewalled. Hmm. Wait. Uh... Okay, I am going to bonus action human word Rocky because I can't reach him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast it second level. Go ahead. Uh... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Seven hit points. Although it's not as much as you'd hope for, when it you see this little fox rush through in between all the yokai, leaping towards you, Rocky, you get it, it taps you, boops you on the forehead, giving you just this small bit of encouragement 
that uplift your spirit just a bit. Nice. Is this guard like dead dead? <laughs> you can roll inside to check. But they, are limp. they are they are a mess. Crumpled on the ground. Can I move without being attacked? Yeah, you're not a target. Okay. Um which case I will I will make my way over uh, here. Can I do like I don't know a medicine check or something? You can. <laughs> you place your hand to check for their pulse having to move some of the armor you can see the armor has broken caved in in various places and they feel very cold which is very strange being a fight Nazi. their hair is almost completely gone you can see this faint splutter of fire uh, in a little stripe just uh, where a widow's peak would be and you feel the shallowest of beats they are alive. But okay. with, that medicine check, with that medicine check, am I able to stabilize them at all? Like, without magic? Or like... <laughs> I will allow it to stabilize them. Okay. I have 20 feet of movement left. I can't get to the top of this Tory gate. And I like trying to climb. You could try to climb. Yeah. Roll acrobatics or athletics for me. You cannot, you just, <laughs> you, just you know, in, the, in Mulan where like they try to climb the tower and they're all just failing spectacularly. You get your pick of the litter from that as you just try to grab onto the torch and slide back down. Please. Okay, I would just get off my butt, I guess. <laughs> just, yep. <laughs> that's, uh, I think that's all I can do. Mm -hmm. So I'm good. Who's been? Is it my turn first? Yeah, you just the first. Yeah. Is, it their, is it their turn first? I mean. It was their turn first, are you right? So, yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, we I that will... Because we don't want them to get fucking double whammy. <laughs> yeah, it was their turn first, so we should be fine. We're golden. Um, I will give my turn to Holly. Okie dokie, artichokey. Um... Okay. Uh, Polly is going to take a leaflet out of um, Shadow Polly's book and cast a bonfire, create a bonfire um, underneath Blue Boy's feet. Mm -hmm. uh, let me put that here. I need to. Okay, hold on. Uh... Roll me a d6, a d8, sorry. They fail as your bonfire just erupts from under their feet. And it snarls and shrieks as his fire is under it. And as it's still trying to swat the glitter out of its eyes and trying to um, swat the fire from underneath it, it's just swinging its body wildly enraged. Good. Very good. Um, okay. Um... I think for my bonus action, uh, do I still have my healing word? Am I still allowed to use that even though I've changed? If you've cast a spell, you can't. Okay. Well then, in that case, I am going to... Uh, Go over here, I think. Beeline and... is not going to try and attack you because it doesn't know you've moved. 
Perfect. And uh, I'm gonna pass my turn to uh, um, Rocky. Rocky, it's your turn. All right. <clears throat> my ten health. I'm pre- feeling pretty ready to fight. Uh, pristine condition. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and what is it? Give me two seconds. Let's see. Uh, well, it's right here because I, I already had it open. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my bonus action and use my second wind, which allows me to gain one d ten plus my fighter level mm-hmm. uh, of HP back. Um, yeah, so we we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, three, almost a nine. Three plus I forget my level six five. or five as a fighter. Five, yeah. Um, so that's eight back. <laughs> mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay, looking better than I was we're, a second we're ago. We're getting there. <laughs> Slowly, yeah. bit by bit. So there's these two boogers right here who are walking away from me. Or are they still around me? What are they doing? They're walking away from me, like towards the city gates. I mean, I gotta fight them. <laughs> <laughs> you can do I it. Let them lie. I don't care if I'm hurt. I gotta kind of kill these guys. Not a fan of them. I want to shoot the blue one. Uh, I think this was uh, his name was Dumb. Mm-hmm. Uh, where was he? Stupid. Oh shoot, I forget. Anyway, <laughs> I will go ahead. Eldritch Blast won't shoot through him, right? I don't have to. We can flavor that, but like it won't do that. No, no, no. My, I just didn't want to shoot Randall. That was my only. Oh concern. yeah, I'm, I'm above. Oh no, he's. I'm above himself, yeah, that's yeah. right. Okay, or Polly in this case, I guess. Because anyway, I want to shoot the blue guy. My Eldritch Blast. I, that not what I meant to do. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I still have. Do I have one more inspiration? So you I'm going to use that. You can use that, yeah. Yeah, because I, that three. Not. Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which one are you hitting? Ah. Try to hit the blue one. Well, you'd still have actually because you'd have advantage against it because it's blind. Uh, so you keep your inspiration, but alas, your okay. eleven misses. Okay, but can I use my inspiration on that advantage then? No. Because you already had advantage on it anyway. Does that make sense? Okay. I guess. I, yeah, fair enough. I'll take it. Um, well, then I guess that's my turn. I <laughs> my bonus action in my... No, I get it. I get I have one more attack. That's right. Uh, so I can swing with my sword at it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'll do that with my two-handed. Kablamo. Now 20. That oh, fucking A, dude. A. Now I've heard it. That's 20 damage. Nice. Is it still up? Is it still alive? As it's trying to get up and clamber away, and it compl- like it, like it kind of ducks missing your Eldritch Blast. As it gets back up and trying to crawl and uh, slash its way, or bully its way forward, you just slice it in half, and your blade, you, you Polly, you, and Lo, you see the blade go straight through to the, your side, cutting it in half, and its body gets dragged by the force of your slash as you cleave into the next one as well. And although the second one isn't uh, die, uh, killed, you see this wave of white fire erupt from the blue one as it swirls around the red one. Mm as the red one's eyes in the back of its head turn to you. Yeah. All right. I, I'm going to go ahead um, and use my action surge and attack it as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll get with my sword. Also, I realized I wasn't fighting with my melon slicer the last time, but this That's time right. I am with my melon slicer. But either way, I killed it, so it's fine. That is a 26 to hit. 26 mm-hmm. to hit. And then, all right, because you got eighteen plus, you can receive one of those benefits uh, based on of your choice. Okay. Um, oh, what's? I'm sorry, I'm reading them for the first time. Uh, greater shortwave with an. I'm gonna do the the healing one. Mm-hmm. There's two uh, healings, so you can either roll your hit dice or you can choose equal to receive half the dealt. healing that equates to half the damage dealt. Right. Roll damage. That is twelve. 12. I get six. You get six hit points back here. Yeah. Sick. As the smell of as the smell of uh, melons uh, cuts through the air, 
and as like you got a slash you hear a proud little grumble <laughs> come from the other side of the bridge as everyone you can all smell uh the scent of melons as the uh this only gets sliced anything else rocky I think that's an eventful enough turn. Um, <laughs> so who who needs to go this round? Still, have you healed yourself by the way from that, uh, or should I? I didn't, but I can. Uh, no, uh, I got you. There you are. Okay. Uh, the guards, Randall, and the Suica haven't gone yet. I don't. I'm gonna pass it to Randall. I trust him to do the right thing after he goes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, and this fire is below me, right? Yeah, like, it's not me. actually. Okay. Sorry, I'll put it there. 10, 15, gonna run up on this guy. Mm -hmm. And go for a slash. Oh, I saw uh, you yeah. dancing around here. I <laughs> saw you. Ooh, okay. Nine damage to him. How's he looking after that? You cut off oh. its legs. And as it like struggles to hold balance and white fire erupts around the Tory gate, it loses its balance and as it begins to fall and splash into the water. I, I kick him it off. Glitches out of it. Yeah, I go, all right. Perfect. As it you kick it off, from where you kick, the impact erupts into this glitch, uh glitchy mess. As just fire erupts around your foot. Lashing it with cold, a cold, dead feeling. Ah, jeez. Okay, never mind then. Anything else? <laughs> nope, that'll be my turn. I will pass it to the uh, the enemies. So not not the guards. Uh, the Suica is left, uh, other than the guards. So yeah, the Suica on the other well, side of the bridge. Like, there's also like... They, have, they've, they, they started the turn. Oh, okay, okay. The Suica is going to slash... At the yokai in front of it. Oh, that uh, second contact didn't hit, but they can go for a head. Oh, that wasn't what I was meant to press. Cleaving another Shabatan. That in the pile. They go to headbutt the last, uh, the other one with the club, dealing eleven bludgeoning, knocking it once again like a tin can into the ground, squishing it, and you can hear like it like just cheering itself on, as it's just waving around like a ma its sword, as it's trying to keep the sweet uh, the, uh, the shibatan back. You dishonor this bridge, dishonor. You will dishonor my friends. And then it's gonna pass its turn to the guards because they're next. The tiefling down here is going to, let's see what they can do. This one? Mm. You're with us, buddy. They just load their arrow and try to fire it at the uh, the drawer climbing the wall. Hitting it. Dealing six damage. And the other guards are going to start shooting as well. Nice you try see... there, last guy. Once again, the last uh, one to attack is the elf, panicking. But the others hit. Trying to keep the Suico at bay, you can hear the panicked footsteps of them running away. And the Genasi is going to the Genasi is going to cast Burning Hands down at them. Jeez. 
as just fire rushes over the wall and you can hear it surging downwards as the juror are just getting bathed in this fire and they're climbing up the wall continuing towards uh, the guards as they keep running and now they're gonna start their turns again and they don't have the best sight on those juror but they're gonna fight, shoot the brood mother at the other side Only two hit. As you can hear, just panic on the top of the walls. But then you hear these a slight bark in the distance, and the alarm that's blaring off to the um, the north quieten. And the guard that is um, that you've uh, stabilized um, low. You hear their breathing very shallowly and like their eyes still closed, but they just keep muttering, struggling to get the words thank you out of their mouth. Just tell them to, to rest and stay still and also stay as close to the wall and out of the way as possible. <laughs> mm. Just try not to move. They're going to pass the turn to you, Lo. Okay, so... The Juro are like, do you say 30 feet up? Yeah. On the wall? And the Tory Gate is how tall? 20, 20 feet? feet, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try and climb the Tory Gate again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to use my Gift of Sight roll of 18. Go ahead. Because I just want to yeah. get up on the wall. <laughs> you start climbing up. And you can see, like, as you're climbing, you see these, uh, this very detailed um, carvings of koi fish and dragons and, um, and other bits of mythology told through Shreleo. But you don't care right now. You are panicking. You <laughs> you can worry about the arts later. You're on top of the Tory gate now. I'm climbing. But you don't care right now. Okay, they're in range. So I'm going to burning hands. Go ahead. Ten. They have to do the ADC. They do. Oh, I didn't. Next save. I should have had those ones to roll earlier. I didn't have them roll <laughs> their deck saves. I just let them do the damage. So that's on me being stupid. Nah, man, we appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Three. And 19. So one takes half. Yes. The other takes four and shrivels up as your fire washes over it. And before, as it tries to climb, and you see, like, climb over the wall, it turns into white fire, consumed by your fire that turns into, like, a giant kitsune's head and eats the white fire as it snuffs itself out. That juror is gone. Okay. So there's just one left. Yeah. Okay. I am going to give a bardic inspiration to uh, Rocky. Which is my last one. Um, and that is the end of my turn. So I am going to pass. Is it the start of a new round? No. No. Uh, I mean, yes, in that, like, the guard was the first person to go. Okay, so the guards went first. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, that's fresh. Cool. Uh, hey, I we got our raid. Oh, shit. Thank you for meeting us for the raid. Hey, I shall pass to Randall. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, in that case, I am just going to pop out my longbow. Want mm -hmm. some more and take some shots at this uh, mother. Go ahead. Start doing, uh, start whittling away at that. Actually, oh no, okay, that's a different thing. 
Just normal band. Come on, please. I should also get rid of Satoshi's head. Um, 24. Holy. <laughs> My brain thought I got a 10 there for a second. I got <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> <have that. laughs> 10, 10 dabblage to her. It shrieks and snarls as you pierce one of its eyes. And you see with the spidery arms, you see this one weird deformed hand cr like push out of its uh, spidery appendages and pull the arrow out. And you see acid leaking out of its mouth as it shrieks and stares you down in a hushed tone. Ugh. I didn't like any of that. Uh, I will pat. Pa I also. Rocky, if anything jumps at you, like. <laughs> really soon, you're probably gonna need. Uh, need to slice and dice like you always do. Oh, yeah. And then you have advantage, and I'll pass it to Rocky. Alright. I mean, I guess I'm gonna sh you with my bow at the freaking mother. Um. I to whip out my longbow and pot shots. That hits. Twenty two to hit. Sick. Right. Uh, six damage. Um, I'm also gonna use my for my other attack. I'm gonna use my Elgin blast. Mm -hmm. Uh, twenty to hit. Twenty hits. Lovely. That is a total of nineteen, 19. damage. When he gets hit by Maybe. the Elgin Blast, you all feel the ground shake and quake. Rich. And what Bridget color Collins. is your blast? Uh, I'm gonna keep with my my dark uh, dark midnight shades of color. Mm -hmm. As that happens, you hear a hushed tone echo from the Suikot Abake as they like almost like stop to watch your blast as the entire world quakes. And Polly and Lowe, you all you see the tiefling once again cringe and kinda hold like kinda almost like hold themselves inwards as they're trying to steal themselves. But this feeling is very intense, uh, as you can see on their faces. But the sweet old Baki you hear mutter under his voice, King. And it just echoes and reverberates when they speak. What was that? King. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> you hear on the echo. But the Juro does not hold the appraisal sentence. Anything else? Um, yeah, I don't think I could do anything for my bonus action. Uh, give me. I oh, will you have go advantage on those, by the way. I forgot to mention. Cause I, uh, yeah. Oh, I did I? You could try if you want did... to. Well, I mean, I'm I'm good with what I got. Yeah, I'm okay with that. You uh, hold that for later. <laughs> can you yeah. Can I, I, I didn't know if I had. Do I have to use it right away or? Can I think I you have to. But yeah, if you can hold it for later, you can hold it for later. Okay. Just saves you I... for saying it next time. I think. Yeah, we'll leave. We'll leave it for now. <laughs> okay. All right. Sure. Um. I. I I'll say that's gonna be my turn. Uh. Go ahead and. Pass it to my main man, Melon, over there. They start swinging. Yeah. Good. Finish those Thick pokers off. Yelling. Oh. Hey. The first misses. But that don't matter. Because they are able to crush one of the Shibatan. This They look like they're slowing down as they're fighting. But they're nearing the end of the, the last of the Shibatan as they're fighting. And it's going to pass its turn to Polly. <laughs> Okie dokie, artichokey. Um, Polly is going to step over here, just a little bit, scooch around the um, pole to, to check out the situation. And now she is going to do the thing she said she was going to do earlier, but couldn't do earlier because she already did the thing that she was going to do, which is a healing word on Rocky. Mm -hmm. Thank you much. Uh, Roll me a d4, please. 
can do. And then what's your spellcasting bonus? Uh, let me have a look here. Spellcasting... You should be on the top of your spell section. Uh, four? Four, perfect. There you are. Rocky, you're back up to just over half, I think. What? From the bottom, now we're here. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do, Polly? Um... Uh, I only have swords, and I don't think those are going to help out in this situation. Uh, so she's just going to get back behind this little bit of cover and pass it to... Wait, who's left? The yokai. Great, the yokai. Mother trucker, dude. We did it again. We're going to do that. Oops, we did it again. I, 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 I know, I, I, I thought you knew. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you noticed. But yes, the Juro climbing up the wall is going to keep climbing. And you hit, hear it bitch. climb over and you can hear it scuttering and panic from over the wall. You can't see what's happening, but you can hear panic. And then shrieking. While on this side of the bridge, this Shaban is going to try and shoot this um, sling at the Obake. Missing as the Obake just swats the stone out of the air. And the Juro tries to leap onto the Tori gate with you. But it's got a very big body and is very hefty. Is it going through the fire? It is going to go through the fire because it's hey. the weight of it is going to drag itself down. As it tries to leap. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Thank you. As it shrieks, oh shit, that wasn't the number I was trying to hit. It shrieks as it gets caught on fire, and just this burning spider, rebody mess of a creature, Ugh. hold struggles to hold itself in the Tory Gate, and the weight of the Tory Gate starts crumbling and cracking under it. As it looks down on you, Randall, with greed, hunger, and anger. Aha. Uh -huh. As it kind of like twists its body around and letting the lower half hang off. Polly, you see this mouth on the ass end of the Shabbaton. I mean, the, Shab uh, the Juro. As it goes to open its giant maw and try to eat the guard. Don't like that. Luckily, the guard is able to kind of just like sidestep, even though it's still uh, she's still cringing. She sidesteps um, the bite, and then it tries to slash at you with one of its uh, giant claws. Randall, does eleven hit? Misses. No worries. You, roll me uh, perception or insight, uh, Randall. Um, let's see. Okay, that's jealousy, that perception. Oh, that's the well, wrong thing I wanted hell. to do. Oh, okay. Do you want me to do insight? No, no, no. no. Well, it would have been the same. Uh, it's the same bonus. Yeah, no worries. That with that ten, you don't know what you you just hear it cracking, but I'm unsure. As it tries to bite at the tiefling once again, missing. As the tiefling just pushes uh, itself off uh, or away uh, from the um, the um, the uh, brood mother's uh, body, it tries to slash at you one more time. Oh, Randall, does that twenty-three hits. hit? That hits, yep. You take ten damage. Hey. As you uh, see, his heavy claws just slash into you. What was your health just then? Sorry. Uh, I'm at twenty-seven. I'll, I'll be at twenty-seven with wood. Your star. There you go. Yeah. Because I clicked the wrong button. But yeah. All good. Just give me a second. Yeah, you can just hear shrieking from atop the wall. As this is all happening. And they're going to pass their turn. To you, Randall. 
Um, so in theory, like, Rocky is now within five feet, right? No. No? But, okay, okay. Okay. Hmm. Not yet. Did the yokai go twice? Yes. Or is this... Okay. Not yet. I'm maybe am... growing taller. <laughs> I have a... Th hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Rocky is now within five feet of you. <laughs> 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 I'm doing like pull ups right now. <laughs> You're putting on your high heels. I wear high heels, they wear sneakers. I'm cheer captain and they're on the bleachers. Okay, I'm going to cunning action, bonus action, disengage. Mm hmm. And so that's like that. That is now a bonus. Oh, and oh, no! Fuck! Shit! What's that? <laughs> no. What's wrong? My plan is fucked. <laughs> How so? Because gem flight is also a bonus action. Uh, and you can. Ah! Um, you can use is disengage and you can make it an action instead. True. Okay. 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 That's what we're gonna do. Disengage action. Gem flight. My wings whoom, just pop out in, in not not in a moment of of goodness. This is a moment of <clears throat> fear. Uh, I'm going to fly 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 over here. I'm just hovering kind of above the the river right now, and that will be my turn. I'm trying to change my token right now. Rocky, could you roll me a deck save, please? Oh, for sure. Where is... How do you change the token again, Kaz? Uh, right click and then choose side. Ah, there we go. Thank you. Da -da 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 Bingo. Da As your wings just sprout out and you leap off Four. the Tory gate. The Tory gate collapses. That oh. one push, uh, push off that you needed, R Randall, was just enough to make it give. And it oh. crashes down. Onto you, Rocky. Oh. Oof. With the Jura on top. As you take 12 damage around, able to just kind of step away. Well, not step away, but you get crushed by um, the majority of the, the rubble. But the Broodmother just crashes down. Um, just a bit on top of you, but like you are able to like, you aren't completely crushed under its weight. And now the Tory Gate is gone. And you can... Lo, could you roll me a perception check? As Randall, anything else? Uh, that'll be my turn. I will pass it to, uh, to Rocky, who... I'm excited to see what happens. No worries. <laughs> Rocky, it is your turn as... Lo, you can't use here... Arf! From atop the wall. How high is the top of the wall from me? 20 more feet. No, sorry, 30 more feet. 30 more feet. Okay. Rocky, it's your turn. Okay. So this is on me right now? Am I... Yeah. Like, it's fallen on me? It's Yes, yeah, crashed down onto you. you. You are not prone, but you are just covered in, like, difficult terrain. This, the area that the Tory Gate is on the map is now difficult terrain. Okay. I do have... Earthwalk, where I can. Uh, it, it would this count as being made of earth at all? Yeah, I mean, it's like stone, bricks, and wood. Okay, because it's earth or stone without expending extra movement, so I can go through difficult terrain. Yeah, you're good. Like that. Okay, cool. So this has done nothing. Uh, but this guy is near me then. Like, he, I see. Yeah, he's the crashed down little right. Burger. Okay. You actually see some of the egg sacs underneath it pop and burst Ugh, as it crashes disgusting. into the ground. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to tell you my plans all together right now, okay? So I have my two attacks and my bonus action. I'm going to use an Eldritch Blast, and then I'm going to swing two-handedly uh, with my sword as an action and an Aslo as a bonus action, okay? Sorry, that is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm doing my Eldritch Blast and then swinging my sword twice. Go ahead. One as an action, one as a bonus action. Eldritch Blast. I keep clicking the wrong thing. Uh, I will use my advantage on that. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, that okay, hits. 22 to hit. Um, can I go ahead and roll for all of them just to see? Yeah. I just want to roll my attack. I just want to, yeah, I think it'd be, it's more fun that way. Uh, and then for my uh, first swing as my action with my melon slicer, that is a 23 to hit. You got the 18 on that. Cool. Uh, and then my uh, two weapon fighting is my other melon slicer. Uh, and that is a 28 to hit. Ooh, baby, this is going to be fun. Okay. You only uh, get it once, so bear in mind that bonus is once gotcha. per turn. Okay. I'm going to think what I want, but I'm going to go ahead and do my Eldritch Blast while I think. That is uh, that's a total of 13 damage right there. Mm -hmm. um, and then for my attack, I'm going to do a... Uh, there's too many people around. I don't really want to do a, a, the... Shockwave. Well, I guess it's a 15 foot cube. What is it? so? All creatures within that cube must take a deck save. Yeah, so it's basically Thunder Wave off of yourself. So okay. like, you're, it's not. But oh, but that that dude over there is within 15 feet. Yeah, of you're, you're, so safe, you're, you're safe. You're safe here. So it's just like so, this square, this square, and this square. That makes sense. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's this. So only the the booger will get attacked. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm gonna do that shockwave. Uh, so then I'll roll the damage for my two attacks real quick. And then my other one. I keep moving around one second. That is... So that is 15 plus... That's 27 plus my other 13. So that's mm -hmm. 40 damage total. Mm -hmm. Not including the shockwave. Um, so they must make a deck save. They gotta make a deck save? Yes. Seven, they fail. Roll damage. Okay, that's 3d6. Mm -hmm. And then that's an additional seven damage. Perfect. It so shrieks total, as what, you just... Or... Sorry, go on. You know... Was that a total of 37 or 47? I, uh, Let's do the maths. Big, big maths. Quick 15. Math. That should be 47 then. Because that's the 17 plus the... Or no, no, no. Sorry. The, oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. <laughs> It's I okay, Jacob. It. I, right. I did it correctly a second ago, and now I'm upset myself. 47. That's 13 plus. That's 47 damage. Oh, mm -hmm. baby. I love to hear that. It shrieks in pain as you cleave it in half. Good. <laughs> as you sever the tie between its body and the top half of it. And it shrieks as, like, the top half collapses in front of you. And it tries to lift itself up, snarling, spitting acid, melting the stone around you. As you just cleave the air and cause this burst, uh, burst of thunder um, to wave off of you, causing debris to fly everywhere as that's happening, and the yokai is not looking too good with this all happening. Alive. It did is you, still alive. Did you though. even use my advantage on those ones? Or no. Did you... Damn. I used, fucking I, hell, I used man. one and oh, uh, yeah. advantage. Yeah, but uh, I still have one more. Yeah. So it could have been yours. It could have been the other thing I had. I don't know. But uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was a nice, nice, pretty round. I think Rocky is done. Uh, all around. I so who so it's the Suica, Suica, Low, the gods, Low. and Rand uh, and Polly. Okay, I hoping that we can get it dead this turn. How bad? How does it look right now? Does it look inside. bad. Or cool? uh, okay, well I use all my good rules. So that's that's right. Even <laughs> even with that, you can tell it's definitely struggling to keep itself up. And okay, even though the back half is still holding itself better, it's struggling to keep itself up. Okay. Um, I will give it to Polly. I'll be like, "Hey, Polly, finish it off!" And I finger gun uh, Polly. Oh wait, Polly's. Uh, it's this Polly Sonia. Back. Yeah. It's Lucy back. Okay, I didn't know if you were. Oh, back. sorry. No, I'm here. <laughs> okay. She was two um, uh, okay. Uh, 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 Polly is going to um, see those finger guns and do some very half-hearted return finger guns. That's the um, spirit. I got this. Uh, and she is actually going to... Because she's right... Is that okay? So it's right in front of her, literally. Yeah. Um, 
she is going to uh, try stabbing it, uh, surprisingly, uh, with her long sword. That hits. I've tried stabbing it in the buttocks. <laughs> She's going to stab it right in the buns. Mm -hmm. Roll damage. Uh, you click on the long sword uh, text in chat. Perfect. What's that six for? Ignore the e6, it's just the eight, don't worry about it. Yeah, it shrieks as you stab it in the back. And like you see the mouths on its back just start shrieking as like long, uh, giant, sharp, jagged teeth kind of curve and bend outwards. Don't like that. From the, from the pain. Anything else you don't like quality? that. Um, uh, Polly is going to check to see if there's anything else she would like to do. Uh, no, maybe move away. Can Polly move away? Polly, can she will give her attack of opportunity though? Because she is now a target. Great, fantastic. <laughs> well, that's that then. Anything else? Uh, nope. You can pass it to the guards, low or the sweaker. Uh, let's get uh low what would you like to do low okay can i still hit the spider over the wall yeah you can okay i would like to try <laughs> is it gonna be hard to climb the wall yeah, it's gonna be try hard to climb but you can with an acrobatic sign in athletics <laughs> i can with a what you can with an acrobatic or athletics but it will be tough <sighs> I use misty step i can't cast another spell can i if it's a spell yes you can't unless it i don't you don't have it inherently do you it's just i do it's part of my fey touched i can cast it once um i think it counts as a spell though. It, yeah it's part of my fey touched thing that i can cast it once a day so i wouldn't be able to cast another spell would i mm, you wouldn't so i'm gonna try and climb <laughs> got this she does yeah, got this you got ah! this <laughs> that's what getting this yes. looks like <laughs> yeah you, jesus Lo, as you start <laughs> you just start climbing you seen the spiders climb you've got it in you you think it and you kind of like dig your like you almost i have that spell but who needs it yeah you hear you he's just, you got this 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 voice in your head as you start climbing and you you almost like not feral but like you're just clambering you've you've climbed trees in your life and what's a wall if not a big type of tree made of stone mm -hmm. as you get just to the top and i to look over it you can see a silhouette running from this side of the wall oh. two silhouettes sorry running from this side of the wall I'll describe them in a second. Uh, this side. If you want to roll perception ah. for me. As you can also cast fireball as well, if you'd like to. Yes, I have a uh, question. Fireball specific. There it is. Um, it says damage increases at level 5. Does that count as level 5 total? Or like the class that, that I that learned was, it from? <laughs> like normally that just means like the, like the class that you learned from, unfortunately. Like I hate that. Mm. To be fair, I, I believe check. roll 20 would automate it for us. I don't think it has. It doesn't. I think it's only B10. Okay, I just wanted to ask. It is fine. I shall. Uh, I need to make a range spell set. We'll crank oh, that later. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's wrong then. Yeah. Sorry, right? No, uh, like my thing's done wrong. I, the way I tried to make it work, it didn't work. Oh. Do you want me to roll? Then? Yeah, if you want to roll, please. Okay. Uh, hits. Okay. Um, I can technically add damage to it with my force of will to whatever my damage is. Do I have to decide if I want to do that before I roll my damage? I'll, I'll allow it. Or can I decide if I want to add it? I'll allow you to add it if you decide to. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. I think it is. Uh, it does include your 
Because, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's running too. Why yeah. is it doing that? Nine damage. That's fine, don't worry about it. Because, to be fair, I would, I think, I, I like the idea of, like, letting you have it anyway. Because I think it's sneak. I want you guys to be powerful as hell. Hell yeah. <laughs> nine fire damage. Is nine enough? Is it dead? That is, as you reach up and just, like, bolt a fireball, you... Before the fireball hits it, you see the Juro kind of like there are no there is only one guard left at the top of the wall from the side you're looking at and you're seeing it being eaten alive by the yokai as your fireball <laughs> washes over it and as the fire is washing over it, you can see the draw just trying to force this meal down and it's struggling but before it can chew it erupts into white fire and you hear the thunk on the ground as a body hits the ground covered in this green let slime. Let the bodies hit the ground. Let the bodies hit the ground. Let the are bodies these, hit the ground. Are these guys dead? They are. The, there's oh. only one alive. Oh. And it's the elf. Oh. Oh no. And you can see like they are just covered in the slime and panting aggressively. As I'm sure you, they'll be fine. <laughs> As when you look to the other side of the wall, you see a dog with a sword in its mouth running oh, along boy. the wall. Huh? And you can see behind oh it a person God. with a billowing what? long jacket, giant at, uh, horned antlers, and you don't have the best sight right now, but you can see auburn hair. And their arm, splint armor uh, jingling and clacking as they rush down the wall towards you. They're still a ways away, but they're making their way. Fucking dab. I'm sure that guy down there will be fine, because I am... I, 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 yeah, they'll be fine. I think that's all I can do. <laughs> anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's gonna pass your it's turn to? about to go down, people. Uh, who's not been? The guards and Suica. Ah, uh, yes, the, the guards. Um, sure, the guards can, can go. I guess. No! <laughs> Slimy guard isn't do gonna do anything. They're panting. They are just in just shock and just breathing heavily as they're tr trying to take off all the armor and the slime because you can see the armor is smoking as it's being burnt by the acid. The tiefling guard, however, is going to drop their um, their sword and pull out their naginata. And no, I didn't even see that guy. <laughs> yeah, she's been cringing most of the time from the pain. Same. Oh, babes, I'm so sorry. Dealing 13 damage with her slash as she tries to attack the Jura Broodmother's backside and passing it to Suica. As Suica goes to try to kill this one yokai, last yokai. You got this, buddy. He does. In a flurry of blows, this Shibatan is. It doesn't even have time to erupt into white fire as Suica just headbutts it, slashes, slashes. Dices it and just cleaves it into nothing. And you just see Suica just stand there bathing in this white fire so it swirls around them. And as the white fire swirls around them, you just see them look at you all. This bridge is safe. <coughs> it is in your Heck hands. Yeah, it is. Hands. And then you just see it walk away. There he goes. There goes a hero. <laughs> no kidding. Because there, when we needed him most, <laughs> he lives in our hearts. And now, Sue goes off the board. So it's going to go back to. Or oh, they're going to choose who they want to pass it to. And they're going to pass it to you, Rocky. No, they're not. Yeah. Rocky. They are the besties. <laughs> Rocky, it's your turn. Okay. I mean, I'm swinging at my boy again. He's still up and about, right? He so, is. I'll do another Eldritch Blast slash a couple of my swings, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go ahead and roll all attacks first, and then I'll go from there. Uh, 
uh, that's 13 to hit my Eldritch Blast. I will go ahead and use my last inspiration on that. Go ahead. Um, that is a 21 to hit. That hits. Uh, and then now my for my attacks, here is the this one. And that is a 27. And here is this one. That is a 23. That hits. Do all of them hit then? All okay. of them hits. First. Here's the Elder Blast first. That is, uh, so that's going to be 18 plus my first thing. And so because I got 18, I'm going to do uh, a health mm -hmm. damage. Uh, so what, that, that's 18 plus, that's 25 plus, I mean, I don't know, the 25, oh, good Lord. <laughs> 25 plus 31, that's 40? Oh. 40 damage. Mm-hmm. And do I only get health from my first, like, that seven yeah, damage? Yeah, seven. Yeah, so you get three okay. hit points. Three hit points back. Lovely. Give me a second. Rocky just got stupid powerful. <laughs> he has. <laughs> it's fine. He gets hit pretty easily, so. But yeah, Rocky, you Yeah. When um when you go to cast your Eldritch Blast this time, you fire light of the rising sun as the entire area around you is bathed in light. But not the fire uh, light, but instead blues, green, not green, sorry, blues, yellows, and oranges, and hints of pink as the sky clears. And you see dawn come over. And like you, you, in this moment, you don't see the. Um, the the green clouds of Kasakawa in this moment. Only the um, the light of the sun, as um, this yokai is just shrieking from the pain as she's trying to fight back, but you're just slashing away at her, cutting her down into pieces, and you're slicing. Even though you're you, you're healing yourself, you're creating shockwaves with each of your slashes. And when all of you are looking down at Rocky in this moment. He has this commanding presence about him, even though, like, there is exhaustion wearing him down. There is just the amount of power he is shouldering in each of his strikes. Is and along with the the sight of the uh, the uh, the light is awe inspiring in this moment, as the Juro just is erupts into white fire that swirls around you, Rocky. Causing all your uh, gemstones to glisten and glitter. And you see <laughs> the tiefling lady guard who's cringing. She doesn't cringe this time at your Eldritch Blast. Uh, she just looks up at you. Almost like she looks like she's been pushed to the ground by some force a moment ago. Um, and she looks up at you with. Just an awestruck expression on her face. And um, Akatsu uh, in the corner, breathing, still very shallow, has kind of uh, leaned themselves up against the wall. Uh, giving you a um, also an awe-inspired look as they are just in just complete shock and full of joy. As you can see tears streaming down his eyes. Um... Lo, you hear footsteps um, that like rush along the wall's length and stop just a bit in front of you as like you hear a skid and the billowing of the long jacket as this person stands over you, silhouetted, looking down at everything happening. And as you look up at them, you can smell Jasmine and you can see... Uh, this Shiba Inu with, uh, Inu with its sword in its mouth standing on the wall proudly looking down at, uh, at you all and you 
think of time and you see time and that's where we're gonna end the session <gasps> you bastard <sighs> <sighs>
Yo, I'm Sam from McClunky Squadron. We do talk shows about TV shows that we really like, and we do D&D uh, Terrifying Territories of Roro on Fridays that <laughs> were available. Yeah, he plays Fuego the Grung. It's one of, it's, one of, it's, <laughs> it was a hard way to like frame that sentence because I was going to be like, mm. <laughs> It's a great character for sure to witness, like, go through the world. It's very fun. Uh, but it's on Fridays, and as for TV shows, we do, like, we're doing Mando right now. That's a pretty fun one. And I think we're going to go into a little bit of a lull after that, but yeah. That's McClunky Squadron. Yeah, go check out McClunky. And finally... McClunky. McClunky. P Lucy. Hi. Uh... I'm Lucy. I stream here on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash I'm sorry, Lucille. Uh, I've been doing this fun writing stream lately where chat helps me write a story. It's more chaos than it is writing, um, but we would love to have you and your ideas. So if you ever want to come check us out, please do. And uh, I have a podcast with uh, Remove Sam. It's called We're So Fucking Sorry. It's on most places you can find podcasts. Um, and this week's topic, we talked about going to the club. So <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Um, check it out. Uh, I hope you guys have a beautiful day or night. Wherever the time is for you. Uh, with it's that. morning, though. <laughs> awful. Awful. Um, and myself, if you want to check out my stuff, uh, most of the art on the stream is my own, except for the... Um, the map assets I make, I use are two minute tabletop assets and I make the map uh, with those. Uh, he, they do great stuff over there. Um, character designs are obviously designed by their players. I just help them uh, put it in my style because they can't do that because it's my style and they'd be stealing if they did. Please don't steal my style. Thank you, Mooksan, for the follow. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, Lily, I'll be streaming next Tuesday uh, and Thursday. And hopefully next Sunday again, uh, we'll be doing the next session of D and D. Um, and yeah, you'll be able to like talk with your DM about creating characters. Like they'll help you cover you. And like if you need help, there's in if you join the Discord, there's usually someone that'll be probably be very willing to help you make your dream come true. I know Sam, for example, is into Warcraft, and there's a lot of people into all sorts. So they probably will be able to help you find what you'd like to play. But yeah. Um, that's all the things. We're going to raid into It's Nalno. She's a, oh sorry, they're a stunning artist. And, they're, but they're playing Animal Crossing today. And I think we want something a bit more chill after today's intense session. So let's drop them a vibe check. If you use either of these raid messages, the heart, if you're not subbed, if you are subbed, thank you by the way, everyone that's subbed today, Georgia, uh, Frankie, uh, Jacob, thank you for all those gifted subs. Uh, Piper, um, <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> You'll be able to use oh, the dab in earlier. another dollar in the jar, man. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's that, that's that's it done. Uh, we'll see you hopefully next Tuesday. But if not, hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Aloha. <laughs>